streets with diamonds in our eyes Out with the vampires under a midnight sky My mind so hypnotized It was exciting It was the 90s Daddy always said that I was going too far I said there's never any compromising If you try to win the battle to be who you are I dance to the left, I dance to the right Hold hands with my demons and creatures of night On an undercover mission to find
What's up? What's up? Stratford, 10, 57 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hope you're doing well wherever you are today. Ready for the leasers market for streams right now, my friends. Hope you got your leases ready. Hope you're ready to rock. Because today we have another edition of the Iceberg episodes here. And before we get to that, though, let's get to our business style announcements today, which are basically the best business of all time. New card style business. And that's the business I'm in of new cards that you can pull on this very stream. The best business. <laughs> Scopely style business. You know what I'm saying? All right. So let's get to, I have like over 10 to, to premiere. So let's do this rapid fire style. Okay. So this is one, uh, Regis Filgen inspired. Say hello to the bodily discharge receptacle. The bodily discharge receptacle. Good luck pulling the bodily discharge receptacle. Next up on our, <laughs> in our is another um, PJ style pull. And that is the Zelda jammies themselves. It's dangerous to go alone. Go alone. Take this Zelda jammies already ready for you there. Good luck on that. All right, good luck on getting that. Next up, we do have, remember, this is, I love the callbacks to these streams that come up on cards, and we have The Black Sheep by Mario Faker, the first caller ever to the call-in show. Black Sheep of Best Buy, Philip Burnell in the house here. Love it. Love it, love it. Enjoy that one. Good luck finding that one. <laughs> because he did turn into the best black sheep of the store after he could, he refused to take a test for internal job, internal test for his job, required for the job, didn't want to take it. And you know what? He was turned into a black sheep. So, hey, how dare Best Buy, right? Next up, we have a, this is, okay, before we get to the full set, I have a, a one and done here from Human Style Being, which uh, he is dropping some bangers here in the card department here. Here's the first one I'm going to show you. Say hello to Tyrone, okay? Tyrone, the backup. You know what? I hope that's the truth. I hope that is actually what's going on here. But there is Catherine and with Tyrone. Good luck pulling Tyrone. Catherine looks happy, so I'm happy. That's my rule, right? And next up, <laughs> I want to show you an eight pack here that is also done by human style person. That is the best. This is, I, I am like so excited for this set right here. Okay. So it's an eight pack here. And, and they, they are attached to one of the streams. It's, it's, it has to do with the Circuit City Saga, okay? So here is one of eight. The hiring manager. <laughs> Desperate for warm bodies. Hiring manager. And uh, he is looking. I love all the details in this, man. I love all the details. Look, the city cir cir Circuit City branch is closing in six years. Money's going down. Talent wanted. No experience needed. No skills needed. Just say what we tell you to say. That's all you have to do. Same day hire. And he was quite taken with me. This is beautiful. The game is being changed right here in terms of cards to be pulled, everyone. The game is being changed. Let's go to the second of the set. These are already available for pulling. Good luck, everybody. Oh, my God. Look at that story cat right on time. Not. This is not planned. This is all random. That was a one in 250 something shot right there. And it happened. What are the chances? Magic happening here on WPIG. Next up, we have the old guard, also from Circuit City. The old guard are the assholes that were all based on commission. <laughs> they were getting paid exorbitant amounts of hourly money just to train DSP. <laughs> this is amazing. I love this one. And yeah, Danny DK, you did pull it in the intro. Awesome. The old guard. All right. That's the second of eight. Third of eight. We have Super Sly, not King Sly T, but Super Sly, the computer section manager who told anal sex stories. Yes. <laughs> DSP in the background saying super cool, dude. <laughs> this is too good, man. Too good. <laughs> Next, the fourth in the series is the loss prevention manager, the female hire who Phil described as a fucking idiot. And the detail here of the Mac computers being behind the locked doors is so beautiful. I cannot explain how awesome that is. Is that exactly what he said in the story? 
Oh, but there's the old guard for little crookie. <laughs> the loss prevention manager at DSP said she was a fucking idiot, and there we go. And I love the computers locked up with their big locks. All right. Next up in the series, we have the CCLP, Circuit City Loss Prevention. Former Marines that throw CDs and hit other customers. <laughs> DSP in the background again saying, holy shit. Awesome. <laughs> Former Marine, not Jaha. <laughs> Love this. Love this. And next we get to the last three here are the figurine style of the loss prevention manager. How awesome is that? This is a WPIG exclusive. You can only find it here. Uh, so that is the figurine style. The fucking idiot comes to life. This is awesome. dude. Incredible. I love this. So you can get yourself a full set, right? The, the figurine style card of a loss prevention manager and the real loss prevention manager. Good luck to everybody on that. Next up, we have the cardboard syndicate figurine. And remember, remember, this is how those people stole all that stuff. by put cardboard in the doors. So it comes with the anti-lock cardboard. <laughs> this is the best, man. This is the best. <laughs> The game is being, the, the, the stakes are being raised so high right now. Uh, but there we go. This is the cardboard syndicate, the crime ring that operated out of, of, uh, of, of Connecticut. <laughs> one of the many crime rings DSP has dealt with in his life, actually. And the last one from this series, this epic fucking series, is the Sly, the computer section supervisor figure style. Over 56 anal sex stories, just press button and you'll get those anal sex stories that he would share on the shop floor. Uh, and it's just incredible. AI is changing the game, man. Changing the game of cards. Scopely is loving this. Is loving this, all right? <laughs> all right. Oh, one more thing. One more thing. Okay. So because some people have a thousand million style of coins, cat coins, Foil snore strap looking hot right there, Jip. Good big ups, JYP. I have added a new redeem. It's entitled Eight Ball. So I'll ask the eight ball a question. This costs eighty thousand because it has to cost a lot because I need coin sinks. And of course, eight dollars donation style will also get it because that's too Phil style. Uh, but the eight ball, I'll ask a question. Uh, will we have more than five? This is hilarious. Not funny, didn't laugh moments today. Will we have more than five? Let's see what the eight ball says. Doesn't work. I'm going to be embarrassed. There it is. Here's the eight ball. Shaky, 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 shaky. Yes, because I need that money. Yes. Okay, we're going to have more than five. We're going to have more than five. This is funny moments there. That's uppercase uh, exclamation point eight ball to get the eight ball. It is 80,000. It has to be expensive. You know what I'm saying. It has to be. Be sure to ask a question, though. If you don't ask a question, you're just going to say stuff like that. No, do you operate a household? You got to ask a question, guys. <laughs> All right. That's enough nonsense today. Already enough nonsense for the whole day. Let's get to business style stuff. All right. Business style. Let's get down to business, I should say. And let's get to our iceberg here. We are, of course, adding BMW today. And uh, we're going to see what happens here uh, with the BMW. I'm guessing this will be a second layer, third layer style thing. Uh, but. You know, we're going to find out today. That's what we're here for today is to get to the BMW story. Um, so let's put the iceberg away for now. We'll come back to that at the end. Bye-bye, BMW. And we're going to start our tale today with a video from 2011. And I think it's important to set our, our let's say, standards of what DSP thinks about BMWs before he before he shows, before he actually gets a BMW. So here's a, a th his thoughts on a BMW are kind of shown in this video here. So let's watch this to start things off today. Here we go. We're gunning two for one. And this guy's name is Bentley. I love this game. Bentley. <clears throat> Where's Rolls Royce and BMW? Okay. So that's it. He said the, the character's name was Bentley. And DSP responded with, where's Rolls Royce and BMW? So clearly he thinks it's a high style, you know, it's a high style car. Foil crag. Never seen that one before. It looks pretty hype. All right. So that's the first mention, okay, of BMWs. He has not bought a BMW well, at this point, well, okay? 
Next, this is 2000 this is December 17, 2012. This is after the Sandy Hook thing. Uh and his video is entitled What Happened Friday. Somehow we talk about um we talk about BMWs in this video. I don't know how it happened, but here we go. <laughs> I got some news on Friday. And I'm, when I said earlier that I'm back to square one, it's basically like this. As of right now, okay. Even Reminder, this is 2012 before this is how you don't play. He's already, I, the, what I've learned from this show is that it, it, he's been like, you know, pushing the struggling narrative like so long. Like it's, it's been since 2012 he's been like struggling. Here we're getting a struggling video here. We're get, already getting the struggling video. It's 2012. Here we go. Even if I maintain my viewership that I have right now, there's still a strong chance that I may not be able to do this uh, either like I wanted or full time. Maybe I, I'll be able to, but it's going to be a lot harder for me to do it. Uh -huh. um, and definitely, it's looking like some of the things that maybe I definitely wanted to do in 2013, such as possibly move out of this condo into a bigger place, that maybe Leanna and I could live in. It may not happen. Okay, so look, he already says, like, I'm worried about the house. Can't get the house. Invisible Muse, have you ever berserk? No, I have not. Um, right now, it's very uncertain. Let's put it that way. It's not a definite negative or a definite positive. <laughs> it's no, it's, it's, there's something uncertain going on. <laughs> and again, I hate that. I'm sorry to everyone. I have to be so vague. I legally cannot talk about it, at least until we figure out what the hell's going on. But don't worry, and it's nothing crazy. I know some people now are going to be speculating, oh, maybe he didn't pay his taxes or he didn't do that. It's nothing well, like that's that co That's coming years later. I've been very smart. Like that's I said, many years I've later. saved most of my money at whatsoever. I've been very... And the channel in general for discoverability purposes. Thank you, DSP, please. Okay? Yes, get out of here. Very smart. Like I said, I've saved most of my money. I have paid my taxes properly. I have an accountant who does them. I'm... F well, that accountant turns out to be a big foil for Phil's plans in the future. <laughs> fine in that regard. Oh, it, you are definitely fine, huh? It's literally, it's no wrong hey, literally. on my part whatsoever. Yeah, literally it's something completely it. outside of the realm of anything that I can control ha, 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 ha. that has happened. And uh, <clears throat> my future is now uncertain. And that's really... It really crushed me because... Here I was. I've been doing this now for two no. years. I... <laughs> Down from the rafters. I'll turn that off. Let's get annoying for me. I really me. feel I've been putting in a lot of hard work, and I thought that maybe I'd finally got myself to the place where I can feel, okay, this is working out. This is uh -huh. cool. I can do this for maybe another five years. Sure, every year I'll continue to grow and change a little bit, and maybe eventually I'll do some different stuff. Like I said, eventually. Oh, Jesus. Here we go. <laughs> Don't do it. No, he can't do this. Not here. Not now. Oh my god, he's my god, he's broken in half! One of my goals is maybe rather than do all gaming stuff, maybe to do travel vids. I travel to places and do travel vlogs because people like it when we go on trips. When we went on vacation, Pandalee and I, and the people loved that footage and it got massive views. So why on earth wouldn't I continue to do that? I would love to do that as, a, as part of my living and also to expand. As you know, I love doing uh -huh. Project 7. I would love to be involved in other projects similar to that, uh -huh. this kind of stuff. So this is kind of where I would like to go with my life. And uh, I have, right now it was looking like 2013 was going to be a great year. Another year, solid content, you know, solid, uh, you know, being secure, being able to possibly move to a bigger place, which is going to allow me to do things possibly like direct capture, new vlog series, all <laughs> kinds of stuff. It might let me do direct capture. And now it was kind of like ripped away from me on Friday. And just, just I know, I, I perfectly understand how wrong it is. That when you have a horrific tragedy like what happened in Newtown, to be thinking about yourself. And trust me, that wasn't... So he's talking about Sandy Hook here. And, and he's talking about his own problem during while Sandy Hook just happened. So I was going to explain why like they're not comparable, even though he is comparing them. Okay, Really, so. you know, what I was trying to do or what I had intended. It's literally, I got the news at the same exact time that all that was going on. Okay. So you have a combination of this horrific thing making me reminisce about... People dying from getting shot. Horrible things in the past. Uh -huh. And then this other bad thing that happened, and it was just like way too much for me. <laughs> so is he? T I'm not sure what he's talking about here. If anyone knows, this is tw the uh, d December 14th. Is he talking about false copyright strikes or something? Like he doesn't say it really what it is. Does he ever end up explaining what this is? Anyone chat? Lore monsters might know this. Lore masters, I should say. Because uh, what was the thing he's talking about here? For me to handle, and I said I I can't film, and that's what happened on Friday. I just mm -hmm. couldn't. I couldn't do it. I couldn't film. I was like, if I do it, I'm going to be all bummed out. 
You know, if anything happens with guns, I'm going to flip out. Um, there's just oh, a yeah, come on. If anything's about guns, I'm going to flip out. Please. Please. Big ups, Logan. Saying again, making National Tragedy about him. He, yeah, I'll go, yeah. Please. All pumped out. You know, if anything happens with guns, I'm going to flip uh -huh. out. Oh, yeah, um, I there's just a lot of, There was a lot of stuff on my mind. Uh -huh. As of today... <clears throat> I am feeling a little <laughs> yeah. better. Tips will help, though. Tips will help ease my suffering. Just so everyone knows. Um, I'm definitely still not happy, especially because, like I said, there's this big uncertainty in the air, and right now things are being done behind the scenes of stuff to figure out what exactly is going on and if I will actually definitely be affected negatively in 2013 or not. Um, but all that being said... I'm not defeated. I am not the kind of person. I think, is he talking about one of the machinima re restructurings? I, I'm not sure. I, it could be right that time. That's going to say, oh, well, well, the dream's dead. Fuck it. You know, the thing is, there's a couple things. Number one, uh -oh. I love doing what I'm doing. Okay. Uh -huh. I you absolutely, for the past two years, have been an insane blast. I promise he talks about BMW. And I can't here. believe that I'm doing this and it's successful and people are enjoying it's it. Successful. And I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm financially stable and it's just such an overwhelming. Oh, this could pocket. be the apocalypse too. When did the apocalypse happen? Invisible mute. Anyone know? It could be around there. I love the fact that I have a direct connection with my fans and I'm able to make videos like this and you guys are able to, to talk it back at me BMW, and we're please. able to, to know each other a little better in that regard. Oh, yeah, we and, definitely know uh, each other. I would never want this to go away, okay? I just want everyone oh God, to know yeah, that. It would away. never be my intention I'm a, I'm a, to have to stop doing this. Um, but number two, and this is kind of the other thing that's, like, Jesus really terrifying. There's just no jobs. And I... No jobs. Oh, already no jobs. Big up, Lasagna Cat. He is turning a major tragedy oh. into a mud depression bag. Oh, what a horrid away. person. Oh, no. oh, yeah, he's mixing them together for sure. I, I'm so sick and tired. Yeah, yeah Sorty Cat, that's correct. I have a direct connection to you guys. You give me money, and I give you curated content. Can you hear? Oh, unemployment oh is down. Is Guess angry? what? And this is what people aren't telling you, uh -oh. okay? You want to know why unemployment rates are down? Why? Because the unemployment board just sent out letters to everyone saying we're cutting everyone off. The government has not approved any additional funds for unemployment. Therefore, everyone's getting kicked out of unemployment. So literally, people are, as people uh -oh. are getting kicked out ha, of ha, unemployment, ha, 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 ha. they're saying, oh, the unemployment rate's going down. No, the people are still <laughs> unemployed. They're just not able to file. For Guess what? Wrong. Unemployment anymore. Uh -huh. So it's a completely skewed data. I know this for a fact because my dad just got his letter. You remember my dad got laid off earlier this year from uh -oh. the same type of job that I had. Of course he. And, uh, and I was laid off from in 2010. Uh -oh. Well, he hasn't found another job yet. He's been on unemployment. They just send him a letter that he's getting cut off, I think, as of January something. There's no more unemployment. So, yeah, he won't be on unemployment anymore, and the statistic will go down. Does that mean that less that less people are unemployed? No. Oh, God. So, fuck TV. Fuck these pundits who are like, <laughs> oh, the economy's getting... Fuck TV, dude. Better. Fuck it's it. not. It's actually getting worse. There's fewer jobs out there. These companies are leaving the country because there's no incentive for companies to be here anymore. America's too expensive to operate in when you can go to China, point, and China's giving you a free fucking factory and free land to come move your business into. <laughs> free fucking I mean, this factory. is what's happening, so... I promise he talks about BMWs here, but this is kind of interesting. Right now, for me, there are no jobs that are going to hire me. Anything nope. that... that how has it been a case where there's no jobs going to hire you for 15 years? In the 15-year period, there is no jobs that will hire. Sound good? Make sense? It does, somehow. Probably would hire me. I'd be way overqualified for it, and it wouldn't be enough to support me. Um, a bit, I'd be, what does he say here? That probably would hire me. I'd be way overqualified for it, and it wouldn't be enough to support me. Oh, okay. Um, He'd be way overqualified for it, and they wouldn't support him. Ah, ah. Maybe not support the lifestyle you have now. In my job sector, there are no jobs, and actually the company who I used to work for... What exactly is your job sector? Finance? For, just to give you an idea, is talking about leaving the country. So there's nothing here. There's nothing. Uh -huh, it's nothing barren. Here. There's nothing it's going barren, on dude. with jobs. So the Sahara Desert. That's what America is. Sahara Desert. So for me, if I were to lose this, uh -huh. if I were not able to do YouTube full-time, I don't have a fucking clue what I'm going to do. The good news... It's like I said, I've been smart. I've saved my money. I have a lot of money in savings. So X, even if X, X. YouTube shut down tomorrow and there was no way for me to make videos, I would still be good 
for a decent amount of time. It's not, it's like I said, it's not like one of those people, oh, I'm making big YouTube money. Let me run out and buy a fucking, you know, a Corvette and let me go out and fucking, uh, you know, get a, get a boat. You know, a lot of people gave me shit earlier this year when they found out that I'm getting, I have a BMW. Well, it's... <laughs> so listen, he says, he, he does extremism to explain his point, how he's different, how he's smart. But then he says he got a BMW. <laughs> what? <laughs> For a decent amount of time, it's not a, a Corvette. It's not listen. like one of those people, oh, I'm making big YouTube money. Let me <laughs> run out and buy a fucking, you know, a Corvette. And let me go out and fucking, <laughs> uh, you know, get a, get a boat. You know, a lot of people gave me shit earlier this year when they found out that I'm getting, I have a BMW. Well, it's leased. It's not ah, purchased. it's leased. It's only a two-year lease, and I don't know if I'll be getting it. That doesn't mean you're not paying a fuck ton. <laughs> That's, yeah, he didn't buy it. Okay, yeah, he didn't buy it. But he did what's even worse when you can just pay for it is lease it for a fuck ton. How much do BMWs cost to lease? I bet that's fucking insane. It again, after that, it all depends on how much money I'm making. But also the reason I got it is because my last car was a fucking, I bought a cheap ass car, which is what most people drive. And the thing <laughs> most people drive a, a what kind of car last car was a fucking I bought a cheap ass car, which a is cheap ass car. OK, yeah, yeah. Two year lease has to be yeah, four hundred five hundred dollars a month, you know, and, and he says, oh, but the maintenance, right? All the maintenance he got for free. Oh, don't worry. We'll hear about oil change a lot. Yes, it's true. Don't worry about that. Most people drive and the thing was constantly breaking down. I literally paid for the car almost literally. three times over <laughs> to the point where I paid probably more over all time for that car than I'm paying now for my BMW. And by the way, my BMW has full maintenance for free when I bring it to the dealership that's only like two miles away. So okay. I don't have to pay for oil changes. I don't have to pay if anything goes wrong with the car. Yeah, but if you don't do it, that's, you don't gain anything, right? <laughs> yeah, you know what? I got a deal. Uh, that I don't have to pay for space exploration. But I'm not doing it, but I still get it for free. That doesn't mean I gained anything. They take care of it. Uh-huh. So that's why I'm doing that. It's not because I'm making giant money and I'm overspending my means or anything like that. Um, so he's saying that he is leasing a BMW because it gives free maintenance. Okay. Free maintenance is the reason he has to lease a BMW. But, you know, it, it's good. It's a good, it's a positive that I've been smart and I haven't spent the, my money. Uh -huh. But you it's also a money. giant negative that maybe that's it. And now I'm going to have a limited amount of time to figure out something else that I can do until I finally find somewhere to work. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Like I said, it's massive uncertainty. All this that I'm talking about could massive literally never happen. All this that I'm talking about could happen tomorrow. I have no idea. So there's kind of crazy stuff going on that I can't talk about. But I just want to let everyone know that no matter what, I'm going to do what I can to try to keep doing what I do on YouTube. Okay. okay. Um, yep. I had to, I had to, that's, that's the, uh, you said it right. I have to lease a BMW because I can't get a job. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. All right. We'll come back to Twitter. Not yet. But. Okay, so now we're into 2013, middle of the year. I'm oh, sorry, beginning of the year 2013, a month after the video we just watched. Okay, just about a month after that. Here we go. Sound for me. Mm hmm. Sound good? I'm having some tea, by the way. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's been an overwhelmingly positive experience. But last year in 2012, something kind of happened that was really good. But at the same time, I almost felt like it was too good to be true. And. Come to find out by year end, yeah, it was too oh, good to be true. Who would have guessed? Okay. Who would have guessed it? He saw, thought it was too good to be true, and knew it was too good to be true. Can't wait to hear this. Okay. And uh, the good news is this. Okay, I am an intelligent person. I'm a <laughs> finance major. I went to school for finance. I knew day one when I started making. After you couldn't do business by itself. After you fail. After you changed from computer programming and then realized business was too hard. I guess then you went to finance. Okay. <laughs> money off of YouTube. That I was going to bank it. I was not going to go out there and invest in things that I couldn't get money out of. I wasn't going to go out there and spend. I wasn't going to invest. Who would want to do that, right? Overspend, as you've seen. Even though I told you for the past two years financially, I've been doing pretty well for myself. This is the best he would ever do, by the way, in this year. I'm still here in the condo. I didn't go out and buy a, a, a super overexpensive house. And ah, it's amazing. He's going to do all these things. He's saying, I didn't buy a super expensive house. 
he is one year away from doing that exact thing after he already understands that his income is going down. That's the amazing part. That is the amazing part. We are less than a year away or about a little bit over a year away from buying an overexpensive house that he doesn't need with two people. Ah. I didn't go out and buy a sports car. Yes, I am driving a BMW. <laughs> expensive house and... I didn't go out and buy a sports car. Yes, I am driving a BMW, but it's actually <laughs> okay. a lot more economical than people. Re it's not economical. It's a lot more economical. Buy a sports car. Yes, I am driving a BMW, but it's actually a lot more economical than people really think. And mm -hmm. it's also full. It's a lot more economical. I mean, I don't know if you know that, but it is more economical. BMW, but it's actually a lot more economical than people really think. And it's also full service. So I actually, in the long run, I'm probably going to be paying if the same, if not less than what I paid for my previous car, which was a piece of shit. And I had to constantly have it in the shop. I basically paid for that car three times over. Yeah, so you, there's are many car. Well, especially if you want to lease, which is usually not the right choice to do, by the way. From my understanding, it's always better just to buy the car. Uh, and you want to get a new car, a lot of new cars will give you service for free if you lease with them because they want to keep, you know, they, they love you keep leasing from them. And they'll do that shit. All cars will do that, basically. But you lease in a new car, you can get anyone. Any company will do that for you. But he has to get a BMW for that. Uh-huh. So... I basically have lived within my means. You know what I mean? Uh, have you? you? Leasing a BMW and saying that. And uh, surrounded, surrounded by plastic dudes. You here with super expensive clothes on or anything, and you don't see me wearing jewelry and shit, you know. As he, as he, behind him sits, 8-bit painter, the entire catalog of 8-bit painter. Is that necessary? I'm smart. I've banked my money. Uh-huh. So, regardless of what happens... In this next year, I'm still okay. So I just want everyone to understand that. Oh, it's cool. You're still okay. Got that. This is not. This video is not an attempt for me to try to beg people for money and oh. ask for donations or do a Kickstarter. And Never would do that. I mean, come on. Who would do that? Only an asshole, right? There's going to be people who are going to say that kind of stuff. And you have to really think about the history of the person who you're watching when people say nasty shit. Because... Uh, history. Think about the history. Have I ever in the history of me being on YouTube... Begged people for donations, begged for money, begged for anything. That's uh, you have begged for, you can't say anything. I was with you until you said anything, because you have begged for views. It's not the kind of person I am, and actually since I, I, I started making money on YouTube, I actually literally said to everyone, oh. I am not accepting ha, 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 monetary ha, ha, ha. donations, because there were people who were attempting to send me money and stuff, because previously when I wasn't making money off of this, I was accepting that to, for the cost of buying games and stuff because this mm -hmm. was my hobby. But since it became my occupation, I said, no, everything is a tax write-off. I don't need money. You know, I don't want that. That's ridiculous that I would have people be sending me money Everything's and stuff. A tax and I'm right still off, not right? asking for that. And I would actually morally feel bad if that were the case, if I were to have to do stuff like that. And I never, I really hope that I never oh. will, okay? Uh, I, I really hope I never will. I really hope I never will. <laughs> If I were to have to do stuff like that, and I never, I really hope that I never will, okay? <laughs> and I, the, only re I, the only reason I can really see myself doing that is if I was so destitute and I couldn't find a job outside uh, uh, of, you know, YouTube, which uh -huh. I really, I'm hoping that that would ne never come to that, uh -huh. okay? Uh, so anyway, the bottom line is this. Hey, good thing that never happened, huh? Bottom line, first bell of the day. Things are changing, and I'm going to explain the changes in this video. Okay, we're not uh, going to sit around for the change. He said the BMW thing. This is obviously awesome, but, I mean, we, we can't be here till eight, the, the midnight, you know? Now, Which we would be if we go through all of this. But that's the BMW like again. Like the he, uh, he says that he lived within his means, but he leased his BMW because it has full service, I guess? I, 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 we'll, we'll figure it out together, I guess. Next up. John. Okay, this is this is pretty hype. So WrestleMania 29, we're still in April of 2013. They're going to WrestleMania, okay? And uh, they're in they're in Phil's BMW as we speak. So uh, let's just watch a little bit of this. Two brothers, two two friends enjoying their lives together in the outside world. That's pretty unique. Usually, you have to pay on the way. Go ahead and get it in the mail. You just throw it in the trash. I never got it. <laughs> what? What the? What the fuck are you talking about, asshole? <laughs> Is your bear bright? Yes. See? 
Look at that. I actually have a, a diagram showing you to go right. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. It's awesome, dude. Yeah, how cool is that? How Playing cool is that, dude? The screen there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're on our way into New York, and then we're going to have to cross over into New Jersey. According to this, we've got uh, about 37 minutes left on our journey. Yeah, that Whoa. changed drastically. Yeah, remember it said like 10... 40, 45, and now it's 1057. I'm sure it'll increase as we go along here. You think? But, uh, but yeah, six miles, and then it's telling us to go on to West 42nd Street. <laughs> so this should be interesting. What? That's what it says. What the fuck? It says go six miles, then take a left onto West 42nd Street. Doesn't make any sense. I don't know. <laughs> Why do we go? <laughs> I'm just listening to the GPS. Yeah. There's no sense, dude. Well, I guess we're going to find out. Something, look at this. something went incredibly wrong. No, I think it's, it's giving us the secret paths. Yeah, but the local roads, the... the yes. Road. Yes, but you're driving through the city, which is going to cause more problems, man. Traffic and stuff. John, we're in a BMW. We're going to be all right, okay? That was the key. That was the key line of why I wanted to include that. We're in a BMW. We're going to be all right. You know, nothing to worry about. I got a BMW, Johnny. Was it fly? You trust the car. <laughs> yes. Yes, thank you, Rambo, for saying what needed to be said there. <laughs> yes, if you get stuck in a traffic jam, a bunch of Germans come out and lift the car up and oh, German. carry over the traffic. Okay, Germans. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. This might as well just stop over and fucking go to the event instead of go to the hotel. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, we're going to anyway, see where so this yes, GPS please. takes us. There we go. 8,000 views on that. <laughs> Next one, more WrestleMania here. <laughs> A little bit more. So, this is the explanation, the summary vlog. There's two parts of this, uh, but let's talk. he's talking about the drive a little bit. Let's talk now about day one and, and our trip out there, okay? Did you hear the clap? <laughs> what ended up happening was John Rambo uh, actually drove from where he lives in New York or over here to Connecticut. Um, and picked me up at 9 a.m. Saturday. That's right. 9 freaking a.m. 9 a.m.? 9 a.m. gets the freaking? What? 9 freaking a.m. <laughs> 9 a.m. gets the freaking? Um, and picked me up at 9 a.m. Saturday. That's right. 9 freaking a.m. <laughs> That's lunchtime for half America right there. Just kidding. If anyone was following along, you would know that I actually, on Friday night, was uploading 100 videos. So, actually, I got about three hours of sleep. Aww. That's right. I was babysitting videos till about, you know, five in the morning. <laughs> He's babysitting videos. Slept for about three hours, had to get up, start getting ready, and also, uh, also start uploading more videos over the weekend. So... Oh, wow. You know, what a tough job. It's a little bit, you know, a lot of people say, oh, I'm playing video games all day. Oh, that must be a lot of fun. It's like, yeah, it is until the work side of it comes into it and you get three hours of sleep before a trip, you know? Oh, no. A, tr a, a trip to WrestleMania <laughs> that you chose to go to and can take off from work whenever you want. What a tough life, dude. This is pretty tough, dude. Working before you go on a vacation that you can pay for that, that you didn't have to take off work for. But anyway, I digress. Um, and someone's going to chauffeur you there, too. Don't forget that. Um, uh, excuse me. Oh God. Uh, that morning we got up. John came here. 9 o'clock. We grabbed our... We, we, each of us, we didn't pack a lot. We only we were going to be staying at the hotel for a day. So we each packed like a backpack. And, uh, a backpack. And so we headed out. And since we left so early, we actually had a really quick trip to... Uh, to our hotel, we uh -huh. actually followed my BMW's GPS system, which told us to go this weird route uh -oh. that we had never even heard of before. Uh -oh. But it actually took us to this toll that they bill you by mail, which most tolls in the United States, if anyone knows, you have to pay when you're on the road. You have to stop and pay someone at a booth. This one, they, they bill you by mail, which was kind of interesting. Okay. So... Um, we got we got there in record time. We thought it was gonna take us like three or more hours, and we got there by like we left that's at nine. It, we were the there way. by like eleven. <laughs> okay, that's it for the BMW references. There, there we go. It has uh, followed his BMW's GPS system, which is magical information here. Okay. Next up, we are in uh, 2013 living room tour. Listen, a little something here. Okay. We got all kinds of shit. Look, Mario Kart games that I got as my reward. My my wallet. All kinds of shit there. My spare keys to my BMW. That's the soldier. 
Spare keys, my BMW. It's never a car, by the way. It's always BMW. Don't you forget it. It's the BMW. So choose the car that's the BMW. To you. Do it. It's not my car, though. It's the, the one series coupe. What do you have? Actually, that might be. That Look at this. I love this. Okay. I love this. I love this. Listen, this is from 2013 still. Same year. Now we're playing co op with John Rambo. We're playing Forza. Listen to this carefully. Carefully. My car, though. It's uh, the one series coupe. What do you have? Actually, that might be. That might be my car. Wait, hold on. So choose the right. car that's BMW. To you. BMW. Do it. It's not my car, though. It's uh, the one series coupe. What do you have? Actually, that might be. That might be my car. Dude. You don't know? I think that is my car. He doesn't know what car he even has. Let me repeat that again. He doesn't even know what car he has. He just says, he's so proud of having the three letters on the car name, BMW, he has no clue what he even has. Uh, I, I, that's not my car. Actually, it might. That might be my car. Look at that, hear that? It know. might be my I car. Think that is my car. <laughs> I think it's a variation, you know? Do you have it's any not Canadian cars? Like, I, like, it's, you know, if you don't know what car you have, it's totally cool, but... If you're paying a premium for said car, it seems like since you want to pay that premium, you might care about it a little bit more than at least knowing what kind of car it is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, come on. Canadian made. Subaru, by the way. All right, anyway. That's Toyota. It. Subaru. Subaru. I'm going with the W. I'm going with the Beamer. With all the other countries that make cars. Of course he chose BMW, by the way. Okay, now, remember how we heard that we're not sure how things are going to go and things are going downhill? Well, we're moving now, and it's time to talk about our busy, busy days. Okay. Start the bag vid with a sigh. Okay, well. This is not a bag vid. It's a my life is so tough vid as we're moving into a huge house across the country for no reason. Okay, here we go. It is Sunday night. It is, uh... It's late, what is it, almost 9 p.m., it is 9 p.m., just turned 9 p.m., I'm beat. We've had uh, uh, so many, su such a, how can I say, a draining few days here between draining. Very draining. Leanna and her mom arriving, getting her stuff out of a U-Haul into my unit, driving the U-Haul over, <laughs> dropping it off, getting... Draining units, a lot of jokes are, are presenting themselves here. And going to dinner with her mom, getting her mom dropped off at the hotel, picking her mom off at the hotel, dropping... No, I'm sorry, going to breakfast with her mom, then going and dropping her off at the train station, then going to the BMW dealership, shining all the paperwork, coming back home, packing all day, John Rambo helping us pack, and my parents helping us pack, packing for literally almost 10 hours straight, barely getting any <laughs> sleep, <laughs> being <laughs> up at the crack of dawn on Saturday, movers coming in, movers moving... Crack of dawn, what's that, 10? for five hours after that doing more stuff all day yesterday as we vlogged about and today we actually finally did have a, f a day that was semi fun okay semi fun 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 semi fun <laughs> all right john doe good question has a question where do you submit our cards to it could be the that being said podcast at gmail.com or discord or twitter so many options let's get back to the semi fun Today we actually went ahead and did a. Uh, did, it went to the Orange Milford area for the final time, uh -oh. and we had a lot of fun. We went over to uh, Sonic for the last time. Sonic, so got to get that last Sonic trip in. That's essential. In an earlier vlog, I'm sure. Earlier vlog. And uh, then we did a few things like Barnes and Noble bookstore, Petco, Pet. Oh right, yeah, Tony T. Okay, so I'll just put it in the. It's six hundred by seven eight seven, is the card dimensions okay. not his favorite hogan pool one turkey version of the hogan there that store that we like to go to and see the little hamsters they have baby hamsters there today which was fun hamsters and then after all that went to the mall or whatever then we finally went to uh went back here Okay, for a little bit. Then we went back to the condo uh -huh. for the uh -huh. final time. We picked up the cable boxes. We picked up the modem. <laughs> yeah. I flipped them all. It took a lot of time, but I eventually flipped them all. Body slammed them all. <laughs> and we also cleaned the place. Basically vacuumed the, the okay, entire place it. out, he which I made BMW a vlog here, of, a video of, which you can see. Uh-huh. Again, probably like 9 in the morning, which we don't want to do, but we have to. I then have to go to... Oh, was that it? Hold on. 
We then have oh, to go to here it comes. Uh, the cable company. The cable company. Oh, his busy life. Shut up. My mom's house. It's my parents' house, but okay, yeah. my mom's gonna be home. Um, I've never oh, done man, a vlog I'm from there. Like I've done videos from my room there back in 2008 before I moved to the condo, but I never actually vlogged the house itself. So I'll probably do that. Um, what the fuck is this angle? What? <laughs> Look at this angle. Confused. <laughs> and then we have to go to BMW, drop off the car. I don't know what final stuff they're going to have me do because I signed all the paperwork on Friday. That doesn't mean that they're like, oh, but we have insurance. We have to figure out and all that. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping that goes smoothly, too, because I need to be back at my mom's house. My mom's house. I said it again. Back at my parents' house for new. Interesting leak there, right? So he, he says my mom's house. So it's really his parents' house. But, like, he makes that mistake twice, which means there might be something there, you know? Like, you know. Obviously, it's all hypothetical. It's all, uh, it's all just, just, just uh, guessing what's happening here. But it's something. Because at twelve twenty, okay, I don't give a shit about schedule. He had to drop off his BMW there. Okay, that's the part of the story you need to keep up with. He dropped his BMW off. Now we're in Seattle, and we're talk, and, and we get to hear a little bit more here about the Company BMW. Dropped and modem from the condo in Connecticut. Drive them to the local store for our cable company. Drop them off close off my account, drive to my mom's house, drop off our luggage, drive and get some food, drive to the BMW dealership, drop off the car, sign the final paperwork, get the car insurance settled, get the delivery worked out. When we're done with that, they had to drive us back to my parents' house. Then we got to ride from there to the airport. Then from the airport, we get on the plane, two and a half hour delay almost. Brianna is done. Almost. Took forever for this plane to take off. By the time we landed, no one likes we were very them. delayed. Then we had to get here. Okay, that's it. He dropped it. He explained the story again. I shouldn't even show this fucking video. But there you go. Leanna Sims, enjoy this video. Done. Next. Now, we're going to be here a while. Now we're moved into to Washington. And what do we get? We can get any car in the world. We get another, another BMW. Shout outs to the second BMW. Let's go. For the second Latina. <laughs> okay. Right on time. Second Latina going for the second BMW. Right on time. Everybody. So yesterday, after a long, long ordeal of trying, uh huh, how much complaining have you heard? Trying to figure out if and when this was going to get here, it finally did. It is my new car, ladies uh -oh. and gentlemen. A small step up from the Camry that we were driving as a rental. A small step up from the Camry. Remember, guys, I've had trouble, but it's a small step up. Yeah, this is the second one. Yes, it's true. Yes, it's true. It is the second. This is the second BMW. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is give you a very brief tour of the car uh, as I walk through here. This is a BMW 320. It's a 3 Series 320 model. Uh, I think it's 320i, actually, with X-Drive. And it's, it's different than our last car. It's like car. Xbox. It has X-Drive. Um, the car that I had before this... <clears throat> I didn't know either, Mikey's walkthroughs. I didn't know there was two BMWs, but I have learned that now, and now you all know Guys, it too. my sister's not being abused. Big ups, Christian C. Says, do you think Phil thought he was more successful than his dad driving the BMW around? I can only imagine how smug he was showing off the car to them. Oh, it's definitely status symbol. It, it's 100% a status thing for him. I'm successful, therefore I have a BMW. I have, I have a BMW, so now I'm successful. Uh, and... We'll see. Well, you'll see. Oh, and Ian Sorrera said it's one of the cheapest models you can get. Okay, so he just wanted the th he wanted the three letters. That's it. He wanted the BMW letters because that's a successful businessman in Connecticut. Uh, John Doe, we're not to the Camry's what he's driving now. Yes, but we'll get to that part of the story. Don't worry. It was actually a 328, which is a some would say it's a step up. That's true, Shankstar. Most people buy BMWs because it says BMW. Yes, that is true. <laughs> but really, the 328 was a car. Uh -huh that's needed for people who need a lot of engine power, which I don't because as you guys know, I have a uh -oh. back injury and I don't really drive that much. I don't drive on the highway at all. Good thing you got a BMW then, huh? Okay. And really that last car in the two and a half years that I owned it, I only drove it 6,000 miles. I shit you not. 6,000 miles of a leased car. 6,000 miles. Now, I fully expect that this car I'm going to drive more simply because, let's face it, we're in a new place. We're going to be exploring. We'll probably be going around Seattle and surrounding areas. And if there's ever a time when you could buy, get away with a used car, it's when you only have to drive 6,000 miles, dude. Like that is, you're, you, you know, spend your 10K to get a used car 
and and drive it 6,000 miles a year and be happy. <laughs> but instead, we can spend 500 hours a month for two years for 6,000 miles. In a new place, we're going to be exploring. We'll probably be going around Seattle and surrounding areas in the next few years. <laughs> oh, sorry. About As that. we, uh, you know, get settled in here to our new home in Washington. Okay, can we so, get to it? Oh, by the way, this is on a cruise ship. You might notice the swaying. His house is on a cruise ship. I don't know if you do that. Oh, so, just to show you. Four yeah, so John, so the Camry was the rental car. And then, yeah, in the future when he gets his Camry, it is definitely a downgrade. But then he's proud of his downgrade. Don't worry, we'll get to there. Four doors. He's proud of the downgrade at that, at that time. Okay. BMW with their special tires. That's right. You can't just buy a tire. Uh, for a normal tires. car for a BMW, they have a special tires made just for the BMW. Okay. Uh -huh. Wow. So we're gonna open special this. Special tires, dude. They're like su supernatural. BMW German tires, dude. Guy up. <clears throat> I want to show you some of the features of it. Oh, okay. Features. Get ready. Hold on to your butts. <clears throat> I want to show you some of the features of it. Okay. Look at that. What do you do when that comes at you? <laughs> He's got the pizza shirt on. <laughs> First of all, black interior, as you can see. Black and I just interior. got my gel cushion. My parents shipped it to me because I forgot it. I left it in Connecticut. Made his parents ship him gel cushions. So they shipped me this gel cushion. It's for my those, back, like I said. Those gel cushions have seen some shit. Especially for extended driving, I definitely need it. Oh, God. Need it. So, we're going to jump right inside the car. And BMW does not require uh, the key to be pushed into anything for the car to start anymore. Oh, my God. It just it reads it in proximity. Okay. It, it reads it in proximity, dude. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so, I put my car, <clears throat> my key down here into the cup holder. He probably, you know what? Like, he probably thinks it has to be in the cup holder, you know? Like, he's like the guy at the, at the shop. Said, like, you put it here, and then you can just start over. He feel like thinks it has to be in the cup holder. I, like, guarantee that is true. likes, everyone. 20 more to hit 100. That's the goal for the night. <laughs> big up. Big ups. Roger, man. Close right. the door. Thank you for re-upping your membership. I we appreciate that. We got Mr. Extravagant. I appreciate it. Now we're nice and I uh, sound isolated. Put my foot on the brake, and I... Now we're nice and sound isolated. Push the, the ignite ignition button. And there we go. Garage is shut, by the way. Um, I don't want to be in here for too long, simply because what's going to happen is obviously carbon monoxide is going to build up in the garage, so I'm not going to be in here for longer than, say, five minutes. But to show <laughs> you all the cool stuff that we've got in all this cool car. Stuff. Hold on a second here. Hit this button. There we go. Uh -huh. Um, Pretty nice readouts. I like this. This the Pretty nice readouts. I don't know. They look kind of standard to me. <laughs> improved the uh, actual <laughs> menu from the last uh, model of the They improved the menu? The car that I had. What it tells you is the outside temperature, the time, and also how many miles you can drive until you run out of gas. Oh my god, that is that real? Holy shit, dude. Maybe it is worth it to get a BMW, guys. It, maybe it is worth it. Fuck the, fuck the gauge. You get, you get numbers now. How neat is that? They did not have that in the last car. The last car would alert that? you when you were almost out of gas, but it would not tell you exactly how long you have till you reach that point, okay? This is going to change the world, dude. And it's got the standard stuff every car has. Whoa, that's pretty cool. You could do lights on, automatic, on or off, or kind of like fog lights. That's pretty hype, dude. It has the auto lights and stuff like that. I'm not going to show you. Whoa, look at this. It has a w steering wheel. Who's control and all that shit. That's. That was a deep cruise control. Stuff every car has, the What's auto it? lights and stuff like that. I'm not going to show you cruise control and all that <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's boring stuff. That's boring stuff. No, this isn't boring, though. We have the right side of the steering wheel. This is not boring, though. Stuff. I'm going to try to show you the nice stuff. Okay, the nice so, stuff. So, here is the in-dash screen, which has so many features, okay? <laughs> so many features. Spoonie time, we'll get there. I think I think it is pretty high, but okay, but it has GP, navigation GPS built into it. Whoa! Uh, your radio, your CD player. All right, so just keep in mind this is for future 
watching as well think about how cool he thinks all this stuff is okay keep this in your mind for the future here uh bluetooth syncing so you can do wireless connectivity to your phone and Holy bluetooth shit. and stuff like that it's got a ton of stuff going on for it okay i don't understand most of it but yeah it's awesome dude trust me the guy told me all about it at the dealership okay um down here you've got your climate system which yes you can actually control the climate on each side of the car for climate system can we stop with the marketing speak you mean air conditioner Okay, yeah, yeah. Climate. <laughs> climate control. On here, you've got your climate system, uh -huh. which, yes, you can actually... I want a temperate zone on the left and rainforest zone on the right, please. Thank you. We control the climate on each side of the car for the passenger and for the driver separately. Heated seats for the winter. Um... <laughs> Pretty standard fare at this point for any car that's a step up from a standard car. Pretty standard fare. I thought it was awesome. Um, I actually have my my garage opener right here up here. <laughs> this is the cool features we were promised. On the visor of the car, you know, use your windshield. This is the this is the Twilight Zone episode right here. The Hitchhiker. The vlogger. Let's make a new version of the hitchhiker and it's the vlogger. Shield, uh, your windshield. There's your rear view mirror. Um, so you got your cup holder, which they never had. It's funny, the car that I had previously. <laughs> Christian C in the house. Thanks so much. It says, not an ad or shilling. Use car salesman. Salesperson. Yes, that's what he's being right now. See, the 2011... This is just a flex video, by the way. <laughs> model didn't have a cup holder. I know. Oh, my God. these weird things that, that came out, and you put your cup in it, and they broke. So they decided to put a real cup holder in this time, you know. Uh, typical little bit of storage space. Did they say... Did he say it's funny? I didn't hear it. Here, here's your, your lighter to plug stuff in. This model of the car actually has a neat feature to go between regular uh -oh, it's a neat. driving, sport, or eco. What that means... Eco? He said eco. <laughs> eco. It has a neat feature to go between regular driving, sport, or eco. Eco. What that means is that you can either do... Pick up eco. <laughs> like a standard car, okay? Or if you go to sport, it's a little bit more power, like if you're on the highway or whatever. If you're not, if you're just doing city driving, it's got Eco Pro, which eco actually Pro, conserves dude. gasoline. And it's funny, because when you push this... Saves the, gasoline. The whole menu changes, see that? Holy shit. The whole menu changes when you push it, and then... It <laughs> Whoa, hang on a changes. second. Okay, so now it shows you... We got Mr. Extravagant. Oh my God! Real cup holders, swag, dude. This is a this is a hot car, dude. It has fucking cup holders and menus change with eco mode. The whole menu changes when you push it, and then it changes. Okay, so now it shows you how far you've traveled on eco. Whoa! It's got charge and power. Is that even true? I think it's saying how much gas mileage you're saving. I think that's actually what it's showing, and I don't even have this car. Shows you how far you've traveled on Eco. It's got charge <laughs> and power, basically showing you how much are you using your the energy of the car, or are you conserving? Uh, this car has a feature Whoa. that when you stop the car, okay, say a, a, a traffic light, uh -huh. the car will go off. What meaning the, the engine itself will turn off. The oh. car stays on. You'll see everything on, but the engine will turn off Holy to conserve shit, energy. And then when you're about to go, the engine goes, Vroom, and then you start driving Vroom. again. So it's going to go, Vroom. a little bit of delay if you do that. It doesn't exactly take off, but it's a neat feature for those who want to it's conserve gas and conserve energy that this car has. You can actually turn it off. There's a button here. You can turn it off. Why would I want to do that? It's such an awesome feature you're telling us about gas and conserve energy that this car has. You can actually turn conserve it off. There's a button energy. here. You can turn it off. That's so, not correct. Woo. Right there. That button right there. Oh, and we need the zoom for this. Absolutely. Please zoom in. Turns it off if you push that button. And we yeah, this the car has input lag. Yes, Sam. It has it, Cannon Brothers netcode. We haven't really messed with it yet, but... Okay. Uh, How exactly do you mess with that? It's on and off. Um, the glove compartment has a neat feature. <laughs> First of all, you can put this in Eat to feature. this. Whoa, it can hold stuff? Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. He's saying you can put stuff in here? Is that what this does? First of all, you can put this in to this. 
Well, hold if on you a second. Like not have cup holders. I don't know who wouldn't want that. But there's a USB port hidden in here. Whoa. Um, where you can plug in a wireless device. Or, or not a wireless device. Oh, you could plug in wireless devices. Okay. That would really help with wireless devices, plugging them in. It's a uh, media device, uh, such as an device. iPod, iPhone, etc. iPhone, media centers, uh, all kinds of stuff. And it will. Me media centers that I used to sell at Circuit City. You know, that normal stuff. Sync all that music with your car. And you can also put a CD into the CD player, a burn CD, and then. Hold on a second. You can put CDs in CD players. Hold on a minute. This is uh, this is revolutionary. All that music with your car, uh -huh. and you can also put a CD into the CD player, a burn CD, and that'll also sync your music with your car and put it into an internal hard drive on the car, oh. so you can have your own playlist in the car without having to have a CD or. So, how many of these features did he actually use? Mm, one. <laughs> I'll put the over under on. Maybe he put a CD in there once. Anything with you all the time. That's pretty neat. We actually used that in the last model. We're going to use oh, that okay, again. There we go. Here you got your armrest. Oh, oh wait, hold up, on. And you've got what does this do? Auxiliary in, and you've also got another USB port. So I wonder if he knows what auxiliary in does. Two USB ports in this car to plug stuff in. This is for stupid BlackBerry and smartphone syncing, which we already have our iPhone synced to it. We're not going to be using this. It's like a special dock adapter you can buy. Okay, why is that stupid? You said all the other stuff is cool, and then that's stupid? I mean, it's just weird. Um, there's not much else to show. You know, the car is nice, it handles well. Oh, yeah, there's more to show. You've showed us the glove box. And, you know, in here, this is a new feature, too. This is a touch screen, so I can actually move my... It's a touch screen. You see the screen there? It's You can touch it with its nice screen there. My finger around here, and, uh... Once enabled, because it's disabled right now, but once enabled, it'll actually allow you to move around the menus in the in this screen it's i'm not used screen. to that so we just it's disabled for now we can enable it later if we want touch screen uh, stupid pad but touch screen stupid pad lots of stuff it's got navigation <clears throat> obviously your telephone can sync with it your iphone um media like i told you you could store stuff on the hard drive to have it play different music and stuff uh -huh. your radio settings your menu and uh the car itself not only has oh, self-monitoring, meaning that it monitors its own status. And inside of this screen, you can look up, oh, is a tire low? Oh, is there something wrong with the, the hydraulic <laughs> system? And stuff like that. It's all built in. It'll give you alerts on the fly on this screen. Okay, but I also, so. it, what uh, else? oh, excuse me. The manual for the car is built into it. Oh, God. Yeah, the manual you check once every couple years. If that. So you don't need to have a paper manual. The manual's inside the freaking car, oh. which is pretty neat. Dude, come on. It's a manual. It's... <laughs> okay. What? You can look it up at any time. Oh, I need to know about this feature, this feature, etc. Mm -hmm. And it's in there. Yeah. The one weird thing about the car... What's the we... Uh-oh. There's a negative. Here we go. That personally I find very odd is the shifting system. Uh -oh. Because it is not a shift like you're used to. It's actually an electronic shift. So the gears of the car, as you can see, reverse, neutral, drive. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> no cares. The reverse drive, I don't even know what this is. I don't even know, dude. Manual shifting, I guess, which I'm uh -huh. not going to do. I don't want to do manual. Um, is electronic, I meaning you just hold a button down here and you push up and down like a joystick on a video game. I kid you not. That there, should be perfect for you then, dude. Video game. There's no more manually moving your stick up and down through the gears. It's all like a video game now. So you just tap dude. up, it's in neutral. You tap up again, it's in reverse. Or Holy you hold shit. up all the way, it goes to reverse. Holy the shit. one really weird thing that I've never seen in a car before, you don't put the car in park. That's right. You just stop the car completely and you push the park button and the car parks itself. So you, there's no parking this car. Yeah, I don't mean that. Hold on a second. Does it drive itself or it just goes into, you just push P to put it in park? I want to hear this. Park button and the car parks itself. Uh-huh. So you, there's no parking this car. Yeah, I don't mean that it's, it's going to position itself to park. I mean, you put you obviously pull yourself into a space or you parallel park the car yourself. Okay, so you park yourself and then put it in park with a button instead of moving? Then you push park and then the park, car parks itself meaning it just puts it into park mode. It's so odd. It's electronic. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> so it, it, it doesn't move at all. It just, you, you park yourself, and then you put the parking brake on with a button instead of a, a, you know, a joystick, as he's calling it. That is it. That is it. He put, you push a button instead of using the joystick, and that is it park mode 
Okay. Park mode. Park a la mode. <laughs> Park a la mode. Sonic Shift, it's something newer that I'm going to have to get used to. So, how do you have to get used to that? It's one button. It's, it's nothing amazing. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not showing you anything that you haven't seen in other cars before. It's just. But we're still here nine minutes in. It's, it's, it's you know, it's nice to have a car. It's comfy, by the way. The seats are very. Oh, God, that's a lot of leg. That is a lot of egg, leg. Comfy, obviously the gel makes it a little bit more comfy, but the seats are very comfy. <laughs> I wonder if he'll rage when the joystick lags. Absolutely. Absolutely he's going to rage. You got to push the, you got to get used to it first. Do you think he does quarter circles with that joystick? Oh, absolutely. He's got to get the Hadoukens out, dude. How else can you do it? Comfy. And uh, a lot of people ask me, Phil, how can you afford it? Why did you get it? It's this simple. A lot of people ask, how's he going to talk away this? And uh, a lot of people ask me, Phil, uh -huh. how can you people. afford it? Why did you get it? It's this simple. Number it's one, simple I didn't buy it. This simple. Shut the fuck up. Don't worry about it. I leased it, okay? Smart businessman. I leased it. Get the fuck out of here. It's a lease. Uh -huh. And the lease is a lot cheaper than buying the car, okay? Number two, the car has full maintenance. Full maintenance, guys. Remember, full maintenance. I'm going to repeat that. Full maintenance. Let me repeat. Let me say that again. Full maintenance. Meaning... Oil changes. If the tire. <laughs> we stopped on one again. Okay. We stopped on one again. <laughs> Oil change. Uh, tires. <laughs> Full maintenance. Meaning. Oil changes. Uh huh. If the tires fuck up. <laughs> Because I've actually purchased the extra tire protection. Oh, you oh you goddamn right. You purchased extra tire protection. Can you imagine all the extra protection he bought? Can you imagine? I bet he bought, like, ass gel chair protection. Just in case his ass booster seat gets broken. He can get a new one of those for free for $10 a month or whatever. Can you imagine the extra protections he got? I bet he got everything. Touchscreen protection. Park-style button protection. Gamer joystick protection, <laughs> you know, everything possible. Climate control protection with the extra feature for the rainforest. You get rainforest mode, dude. That's for an extra $10 a month. You get rainforest climate protection, mileage protection, Asian protection. Of course you need Asian protection. Urban style protection when you're in urban zones. Uh, Rollback protection. Absolutely. Cup holder insurance. <laughs> everything. Backpack insurance, you gotta have that. Tire insurance, mm. troll protection. What else if do we do? The engine fucks up. Any the transmission, anything in the car goes wrong, the car alerts me automatically. <laughs> Job protection, yes. All right, let's do it. Fuck it. What kind of pro, uh, insurance or protection did DSP get on his BMW? On his second BMW. Let me be clear here. Okay, QA started. Go nuts. I'll read them at the end. I promise if I remember. <laughs> Lost manual protection. We gotta have that. All right, let's go. On the screen, and I could schedule to take the car in. Oh, by the way, it does have uh, on-road on SOS, meaning uh, I don't... If, let's say I get into an accident, immediately I push this button, and they send roadside assistance and alert the authorities. I don't have to call 911. <laughs> alert the authorities. Does it work for trolls, too? Okay. Or do you get DDoS attack? Just hit the SOS button, dude. But, uh, but yeah, like, it, it has everything included. I never have to pay maintenance on this car. And I'm going to remind everyone. Oh, that, I'm, let me repeat that again. Uh, two cars ago. Not the last car that I had, which two was the cars last ago. BMW, but the one before that. Yep. Not the last BMW I had, but the one before that. The shitty car. The shitty car. Was a Grand Am. I bought that car in 2003. That was not bought by you. You said your parents bought that, but the story has changed. So I'm not sure what's real. And I probably paid for that car about four times. I'm not kidding you. Uh huh. This is just Cope and explaining why he needs a BMW again. I bought the car for about twelve to $13,000, and I probably paid over the life of the car about $40,000. <laughs> yeah. B very believable. Very believable. $40,000 spent. On a ten thousand dollar used car, forty thousand. Well, it's DSP. He might have, you know. He's someone that makes those kind of financial decisions, you know. <laughs> like he goes to the mechanic with his ten thousand dollar used car, and like, ah, oh, you need a new transmission. That's about twenty grand. And Phil might be all right. That's what you say it costs, sir. Go ahead, you know. 
Like he might do that, <laughs> you know. <laughs> he goes to those mechanics and they say, "Oh, oh man, that tire's low. That's going to be about 15 G's." Okay, go ahead. What can I do? Me getting fucked again. Oh, uh, always happens to me. Between the engine <laughs> fucking up, the transmission fucking up, and everything fucking up. It just had so many issues. And it's typical of most cars that you buy, you're going to have ongoing issues, and you have to pay for all the maintenance yourself. This is amazing. This car, if anything goes wrong, it's included. It's included, dude. Okay, and okay. keep in mind, I'm only keeping it for a few years. It's a lease after that. Yeah, so after that, all that money you spent on renting it for your $6,000 a year is just to nothing. I can decide if I want to continue. Not saying that cars that you buy are good investments either, but, you know, there's, there is, you do get something back at the end, unlike with the lease. New the lease, if I want to buy the car, or if I want to get a new car, and it doesn't have to be a BMW, I can downgrade if I want. Uh-huh. And they really did me a solid. Oh, they, let's hear this solid. In regards to that, they took in my older car three months ahead of time of when the lease expired. Oh, yeah, that's a real solid. They want you on as long a lease as possible, sir. They, they, basically, you gave them what they wanted, a longer lease. They'll do whatever it takes to get that longer lease. Come on. It wasn't supposed to expire till mid-October. They took it in in uh, end of June. Oh, look at those angels at BMW dealership. What angels? Dude, they're basically a charity. I mean, that's help, really helping those in need. They let him take his current lease in early to get a new leased BMW. Angels, everyone. And didn't charge me any extra fees, didn't charge me for the lease payments, and I ended up getting a new BMW <laughs> at the same exact price. No, Sean, that makes, how does he not realize he's paying for the roadside and tire packages? He thinks that's all free. So, like, he is the kind of person that says when you pay Amazon Prime for $12 for free shipping and you get all this other stuff for free, he thinks all oh, it's all free. Okay? So, like, I got, <laughs> you know, I pay $10 free shipping on Amazon, but I get also get Amazon TV. That's all free, dude. What's wrong with that? It's free. You know? Like, that's what he thinks about life price that I had the old one so all right that is the car walkthrough that's about all I have to show you besides the one last thing I'll show you the car does have air conditioning Ooh. we must have been depressed at this time Mario's screaming going through here just going through okay. conditioning in the back as well that's catered to the, I know you probably can't see it's probably pitch black back here, but it's catered to the people in the back. Oh, God. We're pointing out vents in the back. So they can adjust their own air conditioning as well. Uh -huh. That's it. Um, and we're nice. looking epic, epic finish on that. Put a nice cherry on top there. Look forward to enjoying the car. Thank you very much, and we'll see you later. <laughs> Thank you very much. Look forward to enjoying the car. Okay, let's see the comments. I got to see some of these comments. It's not exactly the most expensive car on the planet. It is a very nice vehicle priced pretty reasonably at around 35 to 40K. Okay. It'd be hilarious if when as Phil sat down in the car, the Kojima was sitting in the back seat and scared the shit out of him. 55 upvotes. What a joke, dude. Oh, man. What a fucking joke. Oh, K Galleon in the house. That would go into funniest moments right there. <laughs> very funny. K Galleon again. Nice. Hope you guys get some use out of it so we can see some good, cool spots in Seattle. Never happened. No need to worry about snow anymore. <laughs> Thanks, K, K Galleon. Uh, all right. All boring. All right. We've seen the BMW. This is the second BMW. Nothing can go wrong, right? Hello, everyone, and welcome to our garage here in Washington State. Not yet, but it's coming. And it is empty right now because actually my parents are visiting for the Christmas week holiday and they actually took the car. That's right. I let them take the BMW. <laughs> I let them take the BMW. They are your parents, sir. I think letting them use your car is not that crazy of a thing, is it? So yeah, that's a lot of trust, but I trust my parents. They actually that's a lot of trust. You're leasing a car. Let them... Take the BMW. So yeah, that's a lot of trust, but I trust my parents. They actually are staying at a hotel that's less than 10 minutes away. Didn't even let him stay in his own house. He let them use his leased car. We got him up. We set him up with room and board. It's a nice hotel. We set him up with room and board. 
You could have done that at your house. You have enough rooms. It has a big suite. It's got its own kitchenette. It's got all kinds of nice... It's got its own kitchenette. ...niceties for them as basically their Christmas present this year to spend time with us. We got them this really nice place and we're paying for it. So they took <laughs> off. They left for the night. Anything else to say? There was a hand for you. And what I wanted to show you was earlier today, my father and I oh, were God. actually... In okay, we already, we already watched this video in the Garage episode, the Chop Shop episode with Brand Dude, so you can check that out there. But I just wanted to show that he... Let his parents use his leased BMW. And yes, there's a lot of trust there. Okay. And thank you, Random Poster, for pointing out that who paid for it? American Express paid for it. Okay. Final Fantasy. We're in the, we're, now we're in 2016. Uh, so before we get to that, I do have to play, of course, the legendary, the legendary John Howard and Rambo. Uh, reference because that happened in 2015. But oh, I do want to go chronological order here. Uh, this is John and Howard talking to Phil about his, you know, you know the classic video. I don't need to explain to you guys. Uh, but he does mention the BMW. He comes in there. This is in 2015. Let's go. You, you would expect to be treated with respect and, oh, you did work. You tried hard on this. But this is here, your cut. Here's the thing. It's just we're a team, as you said, and we all did it together. And, you know, it's not one person. Uh, it should be fair. It should be divvied up. To okay. add on to what you were saying, yes. okay? To add on to that. Uh -huh. So what happens, right? We go ahead. He doesn't, we don't get our cut, which is whatever at this point. But we start showing up to your house. And what do we see? The guy starts buying figurines, starts buying all this ridiculous shit that there's no need to buy. <laughs> He, then we show up to his house one day, and what does he have in a fucking driveway? A uh, BMW. Oh. So how the fuck do you think I feel, and how do you think these guys feel after the fact? Oh. Was there is that is there anything you know? Do you do you not understand how this burns people when they put all their freaking hard work into this, and you're making all the money and the glory, and none of us ain't making shit? Oh. Yeah, it's it's more about yeah, it's more about respect and being. Fair. It's about respect, man. You have no respect. Yes. for your friends. For your family, you don't give a shit about anybody but yourself. <laughs> that's the you know, and, and maybe that's not even true. Maybe it's it's not true, but that's how it comes off. Yeah, and that's what you're expressing to other people. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and you're not. How do you think people feel? You're not thinking don't, about other. You're not thinking about others and how it you know let yeah. affects yeah. them. You know? Nobody. No. It's the thing is, is nobody's jealous. Nobody's nothing. It's when people make money. One person makes money off the back of everybody else. And on top of you're putting videos out there, we go. I did that. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, don't forget about that. that. And it's like, no, you didn't. The, these guys worked hard to put that together. Wor worked hard uh, to put that together. Yeah. Actually. All right. So let's let we got to hear Phil's take on that too, right? We have to be for completionist sake, right? We have to fear Phil's uh, take on this. So I will. I'm not sure if he even mentions that part of it in particular, but we will give it a shot. Uh, that 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 I love that whole. I mean, that's amazing video in many ways. But this is when Phil reacts to that, of course. Up to his house one day, and what does he have in a fucking driveway? A BMW. So how the fuck do you think I feel, and how do you think these guys feel after the fact? Mm. I should have just played this one in the first place, but you know, live and was learn. There, is that is there anything you know? Do you do you not understand how this burns people when they put all their freaking hard work into this, and you're making all the money and the glory, and none of us ain't making shit? All Phil wants to say right now is, "Why are you saying this, Howard? You're not even my friend." Like that discredits everything he says because he's not my friend, even though he called him his friend during the whole time they were interacting do not forget that yeah it's it's more about yeah it's more about respect and being fair. it's about respect man you have no respect for your friends for your family you don't give a shit about anybody but, but yourself. yourself i have no respect for my friends and Here my family i don't care about anyone but myself so of course he has to my friend and my family huh howard who are you howard it's interesting okay you don't know, talk about they you want to talk about the point or how you're not your friend? That. Okay. Now, I've already revealed to you guys. What have you revealed? That Project 7 lost me money. So these guys are coming to my. Is Phil still bitter than Rambo cheated on him with Howard? Eight Ball says yes because Injured Cold said so. My house, right? <laughs> to film Project 7. John's coming to my house every week. <clears throat> Co op. And absolutely, my house is filling up with stupid statues and dumb shit. And today, okay, I've right. I've already told you guys a million times. I was frivolous, frivolously spending my YouTube money 
on junk that I didn't need. And long term, it was a waste of time. Great guys, our goal done. is 100 likes on the stream. We're at 90. Come on, we get 10 more likes, please. Please, come on. I know that now. Back then, I thought, oh, it's a new prop for a video or something. I was just a. How's a BMW a new prop for a video? I'm getting a really stupid way. Okay. The BMW part. I never owned the BMW. I leased it. We could talk. Does it matter? What? I love this. Why is there a difference? You're still paying for a car that is way above what you need to be paying for. I never owned it. Like it's the you you get out of jail free car today. I appreciate it. Bubbles time. Angry bubbles coming in hot. Let's see if it's a good one or a bad one. You're all legends today for hanging out. Let's see if it's a good one or bad. I'm not sure though today how it's gonna go. Let's see. That wasn't a very good one. It kind of sucked. Son of I'm a not bitch. Lie. Son of a fucking bitch. Really stupid way. Okay. The BMW part. I never owned the BMW. I leased it. We could talk. Oh yeah. So you, you just because oh I, you leased it. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. We're cool. I can see how no one would be bothered by that. You leased it. About this till till we're blue in the face. It doesn't matter. It's neither here nor there. The uh, issue is they're uh, showing up to my house and there's stuff in the house. I'm spending money, but I'm not paying them for their work. I, that's neither here nor there. Okay. So the BMW, that's neither here nor there. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the stuff in my house is stuff that I bought with the other time that I'm making videos on YouTube. You know. How uh, how is okay this we're, I don't want to change this into the Howard response video Howard and but how is someone walking in there working with you supposed to know exactly all this information right oh oh that I I paid for that with the solo playthroughs it doesn't matter where you got the money from you know you ha still have excessive amounts of money and and Howard and John are getting nothing for their work on Project Seven oh I worked and seven you only played Rambo after he asked for it specifically when he was going through a hard time with his car days a week with no time off at all for like three fucking years. Your choice. And that shows even more how you don't care a shit about your friends and family. Not that you had any friends to worry about, but that does show you that you don't care about your fr family enough to see them more than whatever you do. You know how later on these guys will kind of complain and say that everything that I ever did was about money. Uh -huh, well, well, true. Because I was constantly making content and videos for the internet. I had this workaholic nature, right? And yes, absolutely, that's a problem. Maybe I should oh, yeah. have. We need full screen for this. Time for personal stuff. Maybe I should have made more time for my friends. Maybe I should have had a separation to have a personal life along with a public life. I did not <laughs> a public, do that. A public okay? life. Uh -huh. For three years. Three fucking years. Your fault. That I was monetizing those videos hardcore. I didn't even have a day off. Once, I not, not even a day off a week. It was just only one person videos, that chose videos, that. Videos, one person videos, that chose videos, that. Videos, videos, videos. Okay. It's like Howard somehow forgets that I have a channel that brings in, you know, millions of views a month. I'm going he fast forward, 1.5. There's insane amounts of other content. All I was doing was Project 7, according to this guy, you know? That's not but what he said at all. Essentially, what he's saying is, we need money. He didn't say we need money. He, he was explaining his feelings at the time. But we won't say it. We never asked for it. You should have just given us money because you were making money. I wasn't making money on Project 7. I was making money uh, on literally everything else that I was putting on the internet. I was losing money on ha, Project ha, 7, ha, ha, but he ha. wants money. So Howard asked me for money. Say, I would like to be paid for Project 7. I said, well, we never talked about it. It never was supposed to be a concern or an issue, but if that's how you feel, fine. John did. He got paid. Respect the pack told me he didn't want the money. We're quitting because we have personal reasons. But they had said, hey, Phil, we want money. So again, you have to ask. If you ask, I will give it, but I will not give it until you ask. Very cool friend. They would have got paid. Right? It's, it's just ridiculous. You want money? I'll give you money from what I'm earning outside of Project 7. I'm okay with that. You guys put a lot of work into this. You have to ask for it, though. Great. I understand that. Uh-huh. Okay, cool. You're asking for money that doesn't exist. You weren't entitled to because we didn't have an agreement in place about that. So why would I just start giving you money? It didn't make any sense. The money uh, was coming doesn't make out any sense, dude. Just ask me for when you want money for your work. Back end, if we continued with the, with the, the series, there would have been DVD sales. There would have been T-shirt sales, which we're going to talk about in a minute. Don't worry. And then he's, like, he's coming in to my house looking at statues and cars. He's pissed at me. You're pissed at me for what? Did you not see my channel? My channels, at that point, I have multiple YouTube channels. Millions upon millions of millions of views. Not Project 7 views. All my other... Okay, some semantic side feel coming out. Really cool friend, dude. It's ludicrous dude. what he's saying here. It's ludicrous to feel a little hurt that you are still buying endless, endless shit you don't need at, at the BMW in the parking lot. It's absolutely ludicrous what he's saying. Uh-huh. Okay? And then he... Uh, oh, you have no respect for your friends or your family. Why? Because I bought statues with my money that I earned with my videos? What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, by the way, we're going to another convention next week that I arranged for, and I'm paying for the hotel room and the gas for, so, oh, you'll come into that, right? Make sure you know about that. Like, what the fuck? Anyway, it's pretty obvious. I don't think I even have to say the word. People in the stream chat have already said it about a million times what actually happened in this situation, okay? What, what now, did please, they say? for the love of what God, did, let's did, get to the fucking... What did Jade say? T-shirts. 
Now, please. What did, what did Jade say in your chat? It time, Gugats? For the love of God, let's get to the fuck. All right, we're done with this. All right, next. Let's get, now we're 2016, back to the BMW, direct BMW stuff. <laughs> yes, people in the stream chat are like, get a Tesla, get a Tesla. A Tesla, are you crazy? Teslas are insanely expensive. Teslas are probably more expensive than my than the BMW. I can't get a Tesla. What are you? Notice that change. He said my BMW and changed it to the BMW because remember we have to keep up this narrative of uh, I don't buy it, I lease it. Teslas are probably more expensive than my than the BMW. I can't uh -huh. get a Tesla. That? What are you crazy? What are you crazy, dude? <clears throat> I just lease BMWs. I need to get a cheap car. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> I think that's it. Get a Lamborghini. Here we go. Yes, get a Lamborghini. Uh -huh. <laughs> what I've always wanted, a Lambo. Oh God, Surely sorry. I can afford a Lambo. You can afford leasing <clears throat> a BMW. Yeah, right. <clears throat> He's off the... Off the, off the chain here with the storts and throw clears. Okay. Bye bye. Next. No. Now we're up to 2017. So the mentions are going down and down. Remember, this is when things are really starting to go bad. He's always complaining about money. Can't really justify having a BMW anymore. Let's go. I'm absolutely down with that. Oh, I love the idiots. Here we go. I gotta, I gotta, gotta bring this up because it's hilarious. Spell singing. Oh, it's hilarious. Our first one of the day. This is hilarious. Get ready. This, or spell sling in the stream chat. Yeah, you're down to earth, but you bought a BMW in a four hundred thousand dollar house. Wrong. Funny. Absolutely Dick wrong. I did neither of those, you moron. What wrong. did he do? I think he definitely did one of those. Absolutely wrong. I did neither of those, you moron. So you did buy a house that's over four hundred thousand, didn't you? And I love it because these idiots spread. Oh no, it was like two hundred something, wasn't it? I think his house was like two hundred or something. That kind of misinformation uh -huh. all over the internet, yep. and people believe it as fact. That's not what happened at all. And I'm not going to go into major detail about the truth of it, but both of your statements are factually wrong. You yeah, factually wrong, yes, but not that far off. You are either. an idiot. Uh huh. You're an idiot. So stop saying stupid shit like that. Oh, stop <laughs> saying stupid shit. You leased a BMW, and your mortgage is around 300, isn't it? Okay. So anyway. Anyway. Yeah. Right now, things are pretty damned bad for me. Um. Uh, back to let me get back to begging. That's a little nonsense out of the way. Back to begging, real quick. Actually, like I've been telling everyone the past few days. All of my bills need to clear within the next two and a half weeks. Oh, 397000 Pescatore says. So there we go. He's $3,000 off. And instead of buying, he leased it. And he's laughing at this guy like this. Factually wrong, okay? All right. Factually um, wrong. And I'm nervous that they're going to because of the amount <laughs> of uh, d the dip in income that I got. Because February was two months ago. And by the way. I uh oh, let me get back to begging. Stop bringing up stuff I bought. Let me get back to begging. You know this. Everything on YouTube. Tyrone. Sorting Cat, the first Tyrone pool. Everything on Twitch. Everything is two months delay. Everything. Okay, yeah, whatever. There's a two month like, clear. Fuck you. Next. Man. That is absolutely nuts. At least to me, you would think they would want to make some money on the back end with the financing, but they're going. Oh, here we go. Cars, cars, cars. This is a, this is a hype one right here. It's not even really a loan. Oh, yeah. This is this is the video. This is the video. Thing happened. Okay. So I was able to zoom around on a, on okay. a back operation around the outside. Come on. And I, it looks like once you get all the, the keys to go Shut around, up. um... A really big monster on the outer. Out Shut up about the monster. I have a really good gun, maybe something that's like a rocket. A really good gun. Get your information in order to or divvy out those perks uh, in a timely manner. Okay. I shut up a Patreon. Um. Can we get to the point, sir? Speaking of Patreon, someone Jay Walker actually. Oh, shut up, Jay Walker. It's not something fun and interesting anymore. Although it's funny because then I play a game like Dominant Rampa and people are like. Holy shit, this is amazing. This playthrough's great. We're so happy Phil did it. And of course, it's because of patrons. But not well, people seem to forget that, that Patreon Dick has allowed you to do Um, so really, there's no, uh... Ah, okay, LR. LR is bringing up the context here. So the Connecticut one was 130,000 and 275 was the Washington. Okay, there we go. Full, full contest. There is no... 
full, full In real context. way, there is no no way to do any kind of... So he, the house itself was 275. There we go. That's why I said it was factually wrong. But he still was paying the mortgage for the Connecticut, so let's not forget about that. ...action anymore. Hey, shut up! ...and where the future's going. And maybe, like, Ride the Hell Retribution... I don't miss the beginning of it. ...you will get a pop-up notification on... I just deemed ...getting today. to the point where it's kind of getting annoying. Shut up. Oh, okay. shout out to Ponage101! Who just resubscribed to the channel for the six? Thanks, Ponage. And Doctor Z says, "Why can't you do that yourself? Because for insurance purposes, you, we have to have people come do it to have like factual evidence on paperwork that it was done, so we can get the the decreased insurance rates." What's he talking about here? The first quick story is. There we go. Here we go. I'm a little groggy today, and I'm going to warn everyone. I'm trying to wake up here. All right. <laughs> yeah. Um. Your job, but okay. here's the deal. Here's what happened. Pretty here's annoying. the deal. Here we go. What just happened is. Once a year, we have a company that comes through our, uh, our little, uh, you know, what is it called? Community, I guess? Oh, God. Yeah, our gated community here. And what they do is they come and they clean out all the dryer vents. They clean out from behind. Oh, God, that's what you're talking about? Um, a check here. For Shut up. To have, like, factual evidence on paper. Exactly. By the condo association. Shut up. Do this, Okay. Now that sucks because I'm usually not up at 8.30 in the morning. So today I specially <laughs> scheduled out my alarm and everything to wake me up at 8.30. <laughs> I specially scheduled out my alarm, meaning you set an alarm. That is what we're going for. You're going for you set an alarm, not you specially set up my alarm. My alarm went off. I went downstairs. I sat down on the couch and usually they show up, you know, pretty quickly. So I kind of closed my eyes or whatever. Next thing I know... It's freaking 10.15 and Leanna's coming down because she woke up and she's like, you're still down here? What happened? I'm like, I guess they never showed up. Oh, this is when they were very much close to Leanna leaving, by the way. We're already in May 2017, so. I guess they never showed up. I don't know what happened. Uh, they actually. Oh, maybe they showed up when you were sleeping? <laughs> just showed up about 20 minutes ago. Right before I started talking here on pre-stream, they were here. Oh, okay. So I guess what happened is okay, it makes no up. sense because for two years they've always started on this end. This year, for whatever reason, it might be you know, pretty annoying. Pretty annoying. But it is what it is. It is what it, it is. It sucks, but it I guess sucks. that's life. It only happens once a year. And to get the lower insurance premiums, I guess it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the annoying story. Okay, good story. Now, the good Start story. Now, I talked a little bit about this last night on my later stream, but I didn't really have a lot of time to talk about it. Is Looks like everything's going to be very positive on the end of us getting a new car. Here we go. Vehicle to replace the incredibly yes. expensive leased vehicle that I've had for the past three so years. So now it's incredibly expensive, remember? It's incredibly expensive. Now it's not going to be incredibly expensive with a new car. Years. Um, and the lease is finally running out next month. And my final lease payment, I believe, actually, is clearing within the next week or two. Oh, whoa. Um, Better get the tips So I'm now. done paying for this car now, which is good because I'm so done with it. I've paid so much money for this car for the past three years because I got roped into it uh, for, for the fact that I was leaving my old lease early. So now he got roped into it. I got roped into it. And they were going to charge me thousands of dollars of fees and early <gasps> cancellation. Plus, they were going to force me to pay off. The lease, it was just really annoying. Oh, okay, so there we go. There's the full context. Remember he said how nice guys they were? And they did they did him a favor by letting him get a new lease? Now the truth comes out. Why couldn't he just wait three months till the lease is over? Like, why didn't he just wait three months, literally, and wait till the lease is over and say bye-bye? You can't get penalty for ending your lease on time. He, needed a, he just wanted a new car that badly? <laughs> and... Plus they were I got force roped him. into it. Another contract he signed that he was roped into. To pay off the lease. It was just really annoying. And so they roped me into another lease okay, with this roped car into. that I wish I didn't do. All right. I wish you did. You were so hyped about it just a few, two, uh, two years ago, brother. What happened? You had the touch screen. You had the climate control. I wish I didn't do it. It was a bad choice. So Pescatori is asking, I never understood why Phil didn't try to sell the kind of apartment and just let it foreclose. Any context? Well, he did try to sell it, uh, but the, it was worth less than he was paying for it. So he would make massive loss on that. And also that's, I mean, even if he wanted to get rid of it, right? If you do want to sell it for a loss, he couldn't even sell it. And it also, was, he was too lazy to get someone to do it for him. He complained about, we'll do that deep dive a different day, but, but couldn't it was run it out because no one wanted to live there. It was worth way less. Than, it was like worth half of what 
he still had left to pay. Because that the value of that house went down hard. And it's a shithole now. But hindsight is 50-50, as Toxic said. It was the only thing I could do at the time because I didn't have the money to pay all the fees and everything. They were gonna they were gonna assess me for leaving the lease early last time. Dude, why can't you just use it until the lease is over? Um finally I'm getting rid of it. Now, the good news is, folks, if you live in the United States, I don't know how many of you here on stream or watching this pre-stream okay, video. Good news, actually, Americans, get ready. You should live in the United States. 2017, um, get ready. Right now, okay. it seems to be a buyer's market for cars. Yes, right? yes, a buyer's market for cars. Get in there, boys. Buy low, get in. What by that is what do you, mean by you, that? Don't, you don't even need to have, like, impeccable credit, and you don't even need to have a lot of money in order to buy a car. It's pretty... <laughs> They'll, they'll let you take insane, it. Insane, the things that I'm seeing out there. Just some of the things, I'll give you an idea. Some of the promotions I've seen out there right uh -huh. now for buying a car. Mm -hmm. Number one, instant cash back. <laughs> this is a dude that thinks cash back is like, is just they give you money, right? Cash back, they give you money. Like, that. You, you understand cash back, right? It's like, it's just added to whatever you got to pay, but they give it to you at the time, right? So instead of, let's say a car costs 10000 and they say, okay, it's $10,000 car, but we'll give you $1,000 back. So really, it's like $11,000, right? But you, you, you get it back in the beginning, so suckers are like, holy shit, that's for, I get $1,000. But you're paying off the whole 11000 during the whole loan, right? But he is thinking it's just free. Again, he thinks cashback is just free. Okay. So you go and buy a car, uh -huh. you sign up for the, for a loan to get okay. the car, and they give you $2,000. Yeah, they'll give you $2,000 that you will pay back with interest. They'll love to give it to you. That's insane. I've never heard of this before. They're paying you to buy the car. Oh. <laughs> Finance degree. Finance degree. They're paying you to buy the car. <laughs> That's... They're paying you to buy the car. That is like thinking, holy shit, that's a new computer. It's $2,000. I want to buy that. But then you don't buy it. But then you see one next week that's $1,000. Well, I didn't buy the one $2,000. I didn't buy the one two last week. So I saved $2,000. Now I have $1,000 to spend easy. I'm saving myself a <laughs> 1000 Weird to me. Like That's weird to me. Yeah, he's almost there. Oh, the BMW. Big Poid Robertson. There you go. That's weird to me. I, you know, I bet in that fucking chat, he was like, huh? Hang on, explain that to me again. And the, and the sales dude is like, yeah, yeah, we'd give you $2,000. Hold on a minute. Huh? This sounds too good to be true. Yeah, we give it to you. And Phil's like, yeah, I love that. That sounds awesome. Like, I don't know. That's a lot of risk involved, too, I, I would think. How is there risk involved? Um, I, but I guess they figured that the risk of giving you two thousand dollars to take their car versus oh my God. you not paying and then ruining your credit permanently, I guess that two thousand dollars is the risk that's worth that. I don't know. <laughs> it's risky. <laughs> that's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. I, dude. That's just uh, that is crazy. Anyway, I'm not doing that. It's actually one of the worst things you could do because if you do that, you can't get any of the other deals, which is like a. Ah, he wants the other deal. Rebate off the car or promotional rate. The other things that the car car dealerships are doing is they're okay, doing an instant rebate. So, okay, you're buying the car. This is supposed to be the price, but they're going to take like thousands of dollars off the price of the car immediately as part of their promotion. Oh, so you mean like a sale? I mean, what? What? I don't. Okay. So. Ah, so yeah. you could. They they put their cars on sales sometime. That is really insane. That is legendary 2017 must have been a dream world yeah pretty good now the other one and this is the one that i did not know if we were going to be able to qualify for it uh oh okay. here we go here we go percent financing which is awesome it means for a certain amount of time on your loan for the car you're not paying any interest you're just paying down the actual price of the vehicle which is again eric asked a question who's slow beef i gotta answer that one we can do a deep dive on him someday but he was someone that some say was a big part of pioneering this how you don't play movement with his group let's play uh, and they watched phil play metal gear solid and um they were making fun of it and that was before before uh evil aj did it and made it into this how you don't play it like formally but yeah they, he was a big part of that and he has some great videos making fun of phil uh so if you search slow beef slow beef dsp on youtube you'll find some funny stuff
Excellent. Get this. Get this, dude. Zero percent financing for 72 months. That is six years. That is the length of the loan. That means that if you buy the new car, you don't pay any interest at all. They're giving you a six year payment plan, basically. It's not even really a loan. It's just like a <laughs> six year installment plan with no interest. So how I'm not a car dude, but I really think in these, right? Do, doesn't that mean you have to pay it off in se well first of all 72 months is pretty long. Uh but doesn't that mean like if there's I think they do that, but if you have any mistake in payment, right? Like they'll they the interest rate goes insane, like double or whatever. Like I I think I'm not sure exactly how it works. Someone in chat let me know. But yeah, so if you fuck up, they will they really get you on these. But Hey, yeah, if you, if you don't pay it back in time, thanks, Jack Jack. Yeah, if you don't get pay it back in time, you get ins, in, insane interest charge on top of the loan. So that, I mean, there's no, there's nothing for free, right? But Phil thinks there is. But, or the interest rate is added to the cost of the car. That makes sense, right? Like, that makes sense. So they say it's, there's no interest, but the car payment itself is worth more. Now that makes sense to me because, again, Philip doesn't have the mind to understand that companies don't, become successful by giving just sales without an idea, without, without a, a, a vision or a goal for that sale, right? So for example, if you're selling cars and you have a car that no one's buying, it's been on the lot for a year, that's costing you money, you need more turnover, you get put that one on sale, right? And oh yeah, Destiny video is great. I'll put that in the um, show notes. I haven't seen that one in a while, but yeah, he talks, Destiny has a great video on that. Uh, I played on WPIG like a month ago, uh, but yeah. He, he doesn't think there's a reason for the sale. He just thinks, oh, there's a sale. Look at me. I found a great sale. But there is something that they're doing the sale for a reason, and it's not because they're losing out you know, in the, in the deal. They're doing it to benefit in some way. But Phil does not see that side of it in any way. It's pretty crazy, man. Pretty crazy, dude. That is absolutely nuts. It's absolutely nuts. At least to me, you would think they would want to make some money on the back end with the financing, but they're going for no interest. <laughs> so yesterday, Leanna and I, the reason that we had to end the stream early is because we had to go and meet up with someone at a car dealership. We had already test driven cars earlier this week, and we wanted them to, to pull our credit and run some numbers for us to see what we could qualify for. <laughs> crunch the numbers. Yeah, Phil's the kind of guy that says, crunch the numbers, sir. Could you please crunch my numbers and let me know what kind of loan I qualify could for? We, could we qualify for any of these new promotions, you know, for a car? Please crunch and the numbers, sir. They pulled our credit and... It was, you know, it worked. They basically said, yeah, you qualify, which I was blown away. I uh -huh. thought for sure with the amount of debt that I have in my what a mistake. name <laughs> that I was not going to qualify. But they said, no, you qualify. Uh -huh. uh, okay, well, that's good news. Okay. Um, I qualify. And so Absolutely. what it looks to me, like, at least from the numbers that they presented us, and I said, this includes everything, all fees, licensing fees, you know, closing, everything. There's no extra <laughs> fees after this. And he said, uh -huh. no. It looks like... <clears throat> <clears throat> I may be able to lower my current monthly payment for car by about two to three. My monthly payment for car. This weird phrasing there. I might be able to lower my monthly payment for car. Or my current monthly payment for car <laughs> by about two to three hundred dollars. And so that shows you how much that BMW costs. Five hundred, six hundred a month? Minimum, right? Let's say if he gets that, he buys that new car for 72 months. Let's say that's 200, 300 hours a month, maybe. So that, that puts the BMW at least 600 hours a month. And get a, a new vehicle that has a lot of the same features as the car that we have right now with very little exceptions. Okay. Now, obviously it's not, a, we're not getting a luxury car. We're never doing that again, probably, unless I hit the lotto. Uh, I yeah, of course I hit the lotto. I realize what frivolous spending that is. And it's uh -huh. certainly not economical now. You know, five years ago when I first got the stupid BMW. It, stupid BMW now. It made sense because I was making insane amounts of money on YouTube. Now it doesn't. Now I'm barely making enough to pay my bills, if that. <laughs> I'm making so little. Let's buy a new car because <laughs> we can't even pay our bills. So I definitely, that's why I'm downscaling yep. here. A, a I'm much, downscaling, uh, dude. That's why, that's why Philip is 40K into WB Champions right there. Lasagna Cat points it out perfectly. He, first of all, he's addictive personality. And he falls for every marketing scheme on earth. And he loves wrestling. So it's just the perfect recipe for thousands coming out. And on a weekly basis, he cannot resist. W like WWE Champions and Scopely just hit the mother load here. And there's a lot of other people like Phil too. On, if you go to Reddit and watch that Reddit, that is a sad place, man. 
It is sad. People ruin their life, get divorced because of that fucking game. More economical situation, okay? Uh -huh. So it's certainly not a luxury car. It's not even, it's not a high-end car. In fact, we're getting a more compact car. We've decided we want a smaller car. We want a uh -huh. car that is going to be easier to drive in this area. And a lot of the, the places we go in this area only have parking for compact cars. This is a very... <laughs> only have parking green for compact cars you go to best buy and costco and petco i think all of those have normal parking lots. area of the country where everything is uh, emissions conscious and everything so he said get a smaller car we'll be able to drive it easier we'll be able to park it easier it'll uh -huh. use less gas yep okay gas. <clears throat> so uh that is what we're doing okay and so he pulls these numbers and we're like wow Really? So not only am I going to reduce my monthly payments of what I'm paying now by over $200 guaranteed, uh -huh. but we're going to get a lot of the features in the car that we actually like in our current car. Yeah, so doesn't that show you how fucking stupid it was to pay for a BMW, to lease a BMW, excuse me, when basically every car has that? And it's not even like it's not even like it's the lowest end model. I, we could have gotten the lowest end model. But, but why do that, right? Why, why be... <laughs> Why be a little smart with our money, right? Come on. <laughs> What's the point in that? What's the fun in that, guys? End up kind of cutting corners and getting lower end features and things that you're like, man, for just a little bit more, you get uh, safety. Yep. That's how he gets it. That little bit more. And getting lower end features and things uh, that you're like, man, for just a little bit more, you get safety features. For us, uh, there's big, good safety features in these cars now. Good safety features. Seat belts and an airbag. A little bit more, you get safety features for us there's big good safety features in these cars now a lot of these cars have auto braking uh backup <laughs> camera which i've never had i've never had a backup camera in my car before and now all cars have it now uh -huh. okay oh um, dude bmw didn't have that so no matter what we get i'm actually going to be getting a better vehicle than what i have now better than a bmw and uh yeah pretty excited yeah i'm, I'm actually very positive because i thought for sure we were going to go there and he was going to be like you don't qualify for the good financing. You don't qualify for the special promotions. You're going to have the shitty interest rate and you're not going to be able to get the, a good car that you want because of your credit and therefore you're stuck. But no, 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 I'm don't take money from most people <laughs> as bad off as I thought. Uh -huh. So that's good news. That's um, good news. <laughs> I wonder what his credit score was. Or, you know, he never says it, but I'm sure what 500, 600. He's not paying a lot of shit. Admittingly, not paying like his fucking mortgage in Connecticut, so it has to be close to as low as it can get, right? Definitely good news. Uh, so I'm pleased with that. I'm of course, pleased. Now yes. I can't do anything yet because I'm waiting. I have to basically work with with BMW to return the BMW, and I have some hurdles I have to jump through. They want me to take it in to have maintenance done first because I never had the oil change or the brake fluid changed. Oh, two years, two years, never had. The, the 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 oil changed or the brake fluid changed two years the maintenance done first and remember the best point the whole reason he got this bmw well he how he explains it i know there's more to it really in his mind but how he explained it to his listeners and loyal fans was because i got free maintenance is why i bought it he did not go to maintenance once because i never had the oil change or the brake fluid changed when in the stupid thing uh -huh. so i gotta have that done and then i have to schedule a time when we can drop it off but we can't drop it off until we have the replacement car so i have a ride home so i basically <laughs> yeah. have to coincide i have to do maintenance and then i have coincide. to try to see how long it takes to get a new car and then i have to get the new car and get used to it and then i have to trade in the bmw so a lot of shit, lot of shit <clears throat> a lot of shit a lot of shit that has to be done in the next like month to month and a half but good news stuff good good stuff you know good, good news Dr. Dr. Z is laughing because he says in three years, you never changed the oil. Uh, in three go. years, we only drove the car 6,000 miles. So if that gives you any idea, I've told everyone everything here. 6,000 miles in three years now. 6,000 miles in three years. And he's leasing his car. That has to be the stupidest use of a lease ever. When, you know, lease is usually never the right move anyway. If you drive that little, that little, <laughs> just get buy it the cheapest car possible, a new one, and you make better than that, you'd be better off than that. Car 6,000 miles. So if that gives you any idea, 
I've told everyone everything here. One of the major reasons why we love living in this state. Oh yeah, you love it. Is the tax situation and what else? Everything is near nearby to us. Uh huh. Everything, groceries, uh, elect you know, elect I almost said electricity, electronic shopping and or any kind of that kind of stuff, clothing, the local mall, <laughs> uh, anything that we would want, movie theater, oh, everything is within just a few hours. Okay. So and within a few hours, that's not really sounding good. Everything is good with this. Everything you is know, good, dude. With uh, this car, we barely drive it. In fact, it's only gotten a lot more uh, drive this past year when Leanna, you know, got her. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotten more drive. Big ups, Logan. He should just bought a junker. He just sits there. Yeah, yeah. Who cares? Buy a used car and drive, six, I mean, 6,000 6, miles in three years? A lot more uh, drive this past drive. year when Leanna, you know, got her, her started working at, uh, at her job and had to drive back and forth every day. So, excuse me. Oh, thank <clears throat> you. Excuse me. And by the way, that wasn't my choice to not have the oil changed. That was because it's a whole rigmarole when we moved out here. Oh, what's the rigmarole? Okay, he he realized now that not changing your oil makes him sound like an asshole. So he's going to have to explain it away. Here we go. By the way, that wasn't my choice to not have the oil changed. That was because it's a whole rigmarole uh -huh, when we rigmarole. moved out here. They shipped us a car across the country. Remember I said we, had, we got roped into another three-year lease? You got roped into, meaning you agreed to. Uh, that was because they wanted to make money back on the East Coast, so they shipped us a car across the country so they could get the profit for it. And then they never... Oh my god, he agreed to them ship, lease a car and ship it across the country? Back on the East Coast. So I'm sure that... I mean, I don't know, but that seems very strange, doesn't it? They shipped us a car across the country so they could get the profit for it. And then they never contacted us on the maintenance, because... It you got damn right. They got you across the country now. That's not their problem. Yeah, BMW, you're supposed to get maintenance for free no matter what. That's part of the deal. That's why the car is so expensive. And they never, uh, <laughs> they never contacted us to get it changed. Because basically... Okay, so now it's their fault. They never told you to change your oil. Basically what they did is they shipped us the car and they were like, oh, they live in Washington now. Fuck that. We don't need to... Yeah, it seems like it might be a bad idea to get your car shipped to the place you are moving. It's not even your car. It's a leased car. It's not your car. If it was your car, that's a different story. Contact them or do anything with them anymore because, uh, you know, that you chose to broke the law. Live with the consequences. Live with the consequences. Wipe our right? hands clean of that deal because they're on the other end of the country and there's nothing they could do about it. Uh-huh. So, yeah. Sucked. It absolutely <laughs> yeah, it does sucked. Suck. Because... Absolutely sucked. Just like, hey, just like, just like Howard never told him he wanted money. BMW never told him his car needed an oil change. We, there were other issues, too. When we got the car, uh -oh. we were supposed to have a satellite radio. It didn't have a satellite radio. Did you talk to the dealership about that? That seems like something you might want to talk to them about. Was, I, we only got one set of keys for this car. Another thing you kind of should figure out before you leave the lot, right? These are all things that you usually should check up on yourself. We're supposed to get two. They only gave us one. Okay, so another thing that you left without asking about. How come you caring out about cherry juice being in the wrong aisle, but you don't caring out about serious stuff like not having two keys when they said you're having two keys? And ever since I got the car in delivery, I contacted the guy and I'm like, dude, what's going on? Like all these things you said, none of, none of the, you only one set of keys is nuts. And he never responded. He blew me off. He completely blew me off. That is not the end of the story unless you let it be. <laughs> Yeah, Anime 109. That was for the previous car, though. Good call, but that's the previous car. And, uh... This is the second BMW we're on now. Remember, this is the second. In a BMW, you're not supposed to take it anywhere but BMW to get the oil changed because that voids a lot of stuff. So, like, warranties and shit, so... So, there's plenty other places you can call. <sighs> well, did Phil ever take responsibility for anything? Um, no, I'm an alcoholic, idiot! Yes! <laughs> yes, that's the best response possible. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, pretty annoying. <laughs> yes. Ack, ack, ack. Cherry dude, that's not how it works. Cherry dude, that's not how it works, dude. Toxic cherry juice, that's not how it works, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Cherry dude's like, oh, you could have engine damage. No, cherry dude, that's not how it works. BMW. Cherry dude, that's not how it works. Has a diagnosis computer inside of the car.
Uh oh, here comes the diagnosis computer. The super computer. Damage nut. Cherry dude, that's not how it works. BMW has a. <laughs> Would Philip pay to ship the BMW back to the Dola chains? Yes, because Injured Cold said so. <laughs> diagnosis computer. Cherry dude's like, oh, you could have engine damage nut. Cherry dude, that's not how it works. BMW has a diagnosis computer inside of the car that tells you when things go wrong. Ah. So if there were engine damage, it would have said something. Uh huh. Yep. Super computer. Those engine check. Those, those full scans, you know, with the beautiful. <laughs> The, the beautiful, like, you know, visuals. They're doing a full diagnosis, dude. Full diagnosis on the car. They check everything. They already did the pre-inspection. We already had brought it in, and they pre-inspected it and said there's nothing wrong with the car at all. It's fine. It's pristine. Oh, they, it's pristine. Oh, yeah. We only drove it 6,000 miles. Of course it's pristine. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm sure they said it's pristine. Now I'm sure his chat is on fire telling him how stupid he is, so now it's, he's done damage control. So yeah, not a very good experience these past three years. Uh, you know, the car is fine. We love the car, but, but didn't get a very good experience this time around with this stupid lease that we did. And I, I will never lease again. From now on, I will always buy. Finally got it. It only took him two times and getting roped into one. We finally got there. <clears throat> <clears throat> but anyway, anyway, uh, the other thing is some people were like, well, why aren't you buying a used car? We did look into that. We went to. We looked into that idiot, but that's for poor people. Dumb fuck. A couple used car lots, and what we found out is, number one, these used car lots do not do any kind of promotion with financing whatsoever. No money back. <laughs> no money. He still thinks it's a benefit. No money back. Car lots do not do any kind of promotion with financing whatsoever. No money back. No money off the price of the car. No money off the price of the car. <laughs> yep. Yeah, no, there's no negotiating with used car guys. Zero. There was no negotiation done. With used cars. Never. Never happens, dude. It does not happen. And high interest rates on And good point, Ghost Like Swayze says. Regular dealerships sell used cars. Absolutely. On the loans. <laughs> Can I get a 10% discount? No. This is a used car, you dumb fuck. We don't do deals. Get the fuck out of here. What's wrong with you? Yeah. You don't get a good interest rate on a loan for... Yeah, that's what he would say. When they say it's their best offer, they actually mean it. For used car. <laughs> Uh, they don't have any of those kinds of features. And they don't have those kind of features. Credit features. Like, no money down, money back. Get a good interest rate on a loan for a used car. Uh -huh. uh, they don't have any of those kinds of features. Uh -huh, those and are features. Those are benefits. <laughs> with most of the used cars we looked at, uh -oh. they have zero warranty, okay? Zero warranty? I don't know if that's legal. But I, I think there's always some warranty they'll give you. <laughs> no free maintenance or anything for any period of time. No free maintenance. Okay, yeah. Um, if you doesn't matter to you because you don't do it anyway. On that, you have to buy it extra. So there was one car we were looking at. It was the equivalent of what we're kind of going to get, uh, probably for a new car. Uh huh. And we did we did all the math and come to find out it's almost the same price, like slightly less expensive. Uh huh. Where'd you do that math? Where'd you do that math on Subaru.com? You know. Let's do use our special calculator to see if used or new is better for you. And it always comes out where new is better. By maybe like 50 bucks a month, but no warranty, no maintenance. But within, within a year, we'll already have paid the difference uh -huh. between maintenance and everything else. So it doesn't even make sense at all right now to get a used car uh, unless... Uh, we were going to get like a junker. Like we were going to get a two- Oh, a junker! Shout out to junker. Which might would probably would last him years because he drives six thousand miles in three years. Thousand dollar car that's a piece of crap, and just buy it off of someone that would be one thing. But we need a car that's dependable and a car that if it breaks. Oh yeah, every, for those six thousand miles down, we're gonna get a, a warranty. We're gonna get a loaner and stuff like that because Leanna needs to keep going to work every day. Uh -huh. That's the thing. We have no car. She can't work, and now we're we're out. We have no income there that we need. So mm -hmm, the income you definitely need. There you go. There you go. Definitely by going for a. You know, uh, buying a car, at least I'll have a car where I'm getting equity every time I pay. Equity? He's getting equity in his car, dudes. <laughs> That's the first time I ever heard that. Someone say that. It's from DSP saying, I'm getting equity in my car. <laughs> I'm getting equity in... I'm building equity in my car, dudes. I'm putting value into the vehicle. And uh, it makes more sense. You know, you live and you learn. You live and you learn, The good dude. news is... Good news is this, though. I'm glad I did do a lease on the BMW because there's no way that we would be able to afford to buy it. You know there's other cars, right? 
What? There's no way we would have been able to buy it. Okay. Is BMW the only possible car you can buy on this world? I'm glad I did do a lease on the BMW because there's no way that we would be able to afford to buy it. And imagine if I had had the car in my name right now and, you know, after three... No, no, he's talking about Equi on his new car, his, his new car he just bought. Right. Um, after three years, you don't have a lot of equity in a car, especially right now. Hold on, hold on, I want to hear this And, again. you know, after three years, you don't have a lot of equity in a car, especially if there's if you're not on a 0% loan, right? Imagine now if I was, like, stuck with this car forever, and I'm like, damn, there's no way I can reduce my payment. That would really suck. So. Well, you could sell it. I, I, what, he's talking about if he bought it. Well, hold on. I, I, I'm trying to understand what he's saying here. Let me, before I say anything stupid, let me hear what he's saying here, why it's better. He, he's, he's glad he didn't do it. Mm -hmm right now and to buy it uh-huh hold on and uh it makes more again. sense you know you live and you learn you live and you the learn the good news is the good news is this i'm glad i did do a lease on the bmw because there's no way that we would be able to afford to buy it okay there's other cars though but okay and imagine if i had had the car in my name right now and you know after three years you don't have a lot of equity in a car especially if there's if you're not on a zero percent loan right Imagine now if I was like stuck with this car forever and I'm like, damn, there's no way I can reduce my payment. Well, first of all, my sister's face is beautiful. First of all, your payment will be less. Big ups to a supporter. I'll check who it is in a second. But first of all, your payment is less. OK, that's absolutely true. If you if you do it, it's a bit cheaper than leasing. And so maybe it wouldn't be as bad as he's trying to say. He's just trying to explain what he's he's I don't know. I don't know what he's saying here. I can't understand it. He's saying equity. He leased a car, so there's no equity ever at the end of that thing. I mean, that would really suck. So. All right, everyone. I think that's it. I don't really okay. have much else to talk about. As you yeah. guys and gals know, as I said, uh, if you do cheer, tip, or Big up to sub Vaughn. to the channel You're during the stream, the, you will get a pop-up notification. I will give you a thank you shout legend. out. Okay. I hope you'll consider doing that. Um, FYI, the tip threshold FYI. I raised to two bucks because we've been getting a lot of spammed one dollar tips from trolls recently, and I want to see if this will defray that. This today. is such spoonie time in the house. This is such a clown show. Big ups to PIG for further immortalizing the piggy's regardedness. Cheers, and looking forward to more DSS once Steve gets back. Yeah, Density Scrolls is coming back, my friend. Spoonie time, you're a legend. Okay, okay. Um, I hope you'll check out my Teespring store if you see here. There's a oh, new shut product. The fuck up. Okay. So now we know the full story here. We know what happened. That we know there was the car. We know he, we know he leased this his second BMW. It was a great idea before. Now it's a shit idea. So now we enter the part of the show where we get revisionist history. Okay, revisionist history comes into play. Uh, before we get to that, though, I do want to show you the only Instagram post about the BMW. Uh, it says cleaning the BMW in prep to return it to the dealership tomorrow. Lease is up, and it's far too expensive. And much more than anything I'll need now that it's just me again. Uh, so it's just me again uh, means that Leanna's gone at that point. The video we just watched was Leanna's already gone. Yeah, which makes sense uh, in terms of that. So it's just me again. And uh, he's going to have to get uh, something cheaper. Okay. And that is the only Instagram mention of that. Uh, let's go to Twitter because I did forget about it. Let's go to it. On 2014, he says, one thing we will not be doing is getting another BMW, okay? I want to repeat. Let me repeat that again. One thing we will not be doing is getting another BMW. I'd much rather furnish the house nicely than pay for one. It was nice while it lasted. I want you to check the year on that very carefully. May 26, 2014. He would get another BMW after this. <laughs> so he knew it was a bad idea and then got roped into it. That other lease we're talking about was in 2015 when he made the move. He did. Before he moved, before he moved, he said this. And then he moved and did it again. So he knew it was a bad idea and did it again. Incredible. Incredible stuff. Incredible stuff. Before going, he says, I will not be getting another BMW. Then was roped into it by the salesperson of BMW. So if anything, to me, I've learned BMW, a great fucking salesman with the worst consumer of all time. That's all I can say. Is he knew it was a bad idea and then did it anyway. Okay? <laughs> oh, God. God. 
it, it, it's incredible. It is incredible. <laughs> Next up, he says, clean the BMW. That's the thing I showed you. Um, at BMW, for the first leg in a very busy day for me, you can see both of Seattle. Let's see if we can see this one, by the way. Let's see. My sister's face is beautiful. Big ups, adult with a business degree. When you terminate a lease, you have to make a large balloon payment. DSP was trying to avoid... So adult with a business degree, though. I'm not sure why he couldn't have just let the lease run out. There was only three months left in it, right? So it seems like, to me, uh, that you let the lease run out, even if you got to pay three more months. That's smarter long-term than getting into another two-year lease, right? That's what I think. Make it make sense, right? Uh, be it, fill at BMW uh, for the first leg in a very busy day. You can see both of Seattle's major sporting fields from here. Cool. Very hype, dude. Very cool. Uh, next in 2017, just use an app to call uh, to hail a cab from the BMW dealership back home. It came in two minutes. The future is now. Very cool. Very cool tweet there. Okay, very cool tweet. And uh, next he says... And so the BMW is a thing of the past. Now off to pick up the plates for my new vehicle and run a ton of other errands. All right. And that, that brings us up to date on the story so far. Now we're in 2017. And uh, let's see what we get. Let's go. Oh, come on. Choose watching Attack on Titan, I guess. Let me refresh. Come on, Chew. Quit the Attack on Titan. Here we go. Monday, two streams. Wednesday. Thursday. I, well, oh, hold on. I almost hold screwed on. up. Hold Wednesday on. night, I will not be doing a live stream Wednesday night. Okay, so Why there not? will be two streams Monday, two streams Tuesday, one stream Wednesday. Wednesday night, I am basically getting my car ready, my my BMW that I'm now getting rid of. It's way too fucking expensive for my lifestyle and my, what I can afford. Uh -huh. Um, I'm getting it ready to trade, or not trade in, but turn in, because the lease is over. Um, I need to clean it. So I have to, you know, vacuum it and wipe it down and everything. Oh, God. Therefore, the I need time that to do thing. that. So I'm going to be doing that probably for an hour or more. I might even, I'm thinking about getting, taking it for another car wash, but I don't know. It's not that dirty. I don't know. I'm going to think about it, but I got to do that. So that's <laughs> Wednesday night. So I'm not going to have time to do a second stream on Wednesday night. All right. And all right. So Wednesday night of this night is the, <laughs> is the cleaning the cock ant, kicking the ants out. That's very key point of it. Got to kick the ants out. <laughs> Thursday this week. We'll see I Thursday am completely real quick. off. You will not see me doing gameplay streams, videos, nothing, because I will be, off, out, and about doing a million things. Basically, since I uh, basically I will be doing the Odyssey, the Iliad. You ever heard of that? You ever heard of it? I'll be doing that. Go with Liana. There's been a lot of stuff uh -oh. going on that I need to kind of resolve. Uh -oh. For example, turning this car back in with BMW, getting rid of it, and then I could just start focusing on the new car. Okay. Um, there's a few odds and ends I need to get for the house now because when Liana moved out, she took a few things, and I'm like, oh man, well this is fucking bitch took a few things she took all her stuff it sucked i was using her stuff that i need for myself now for example i have no printer my printer broke when i moved <laughs> across the country three years ago she, oh that fucking wireless printer remember that he went and got this nice printer for her business and i've been using that whenever i need to print something out because i don't often need to print anything almost never but every once in a while i do need to print something for example ask the king oh, which is coming up king. later this month on the 29th i need a printer to print out the ask the king questions to read so See what I mean? I have to go do just a bunch of odds and ends and things like odds that that ends. I need to take Blips care of on bloops. Thursday. Okay, it's like you're doing things that humans have to do, okay? Adults have to do that, unfortunately. Uh, but let's go. Still 2017. Wednesday, sadly, was off the table. Um, I couldn't talk at all. I couldn't do anything. So I ended up sleeping in for most of Wednesday. And then Wednesday night, I already wasn't planning on doing any, any streaming or anything because I had to prepare my... We are in pre... This is pre-cat. Uh, just, that's all cat vision, so I gotta talk about it. Uh, we're in pre-cat, but they are talking, they already have made first connection on Twitter, by the way, for those interested in the timeline. They are DMing each other at this point in June 9, 2017. My car, my BMW, yeah. to be returned back to the dealership as the lease had ended, okay? <clears throat> so that's what I ended up doing Wednesday night, is a lot of errands. I was running around the house cleaning stuff, I... Did you describe errands as running around the house and cleaning stuff? Those are errands? Scrubbed out the cars, vacuumed it, did you basically cleaned it up and got it ready to be returned. Okay. Uh -huh. Scrubbed out the car? So, so that was Wednesday. And then Thursday the I woke up. We already heard I felt this a little too. better. I didn't feel a hundred percent. I felt a little better. You know, my throat was less swollen. Okay, I'm out. Uh with this, but 
I'm tr- same thing. Car story though. Get get hyped for the car story. Trying to get back into the swing of things, back to the groove of things, of doing things. Get my groove my, back. On my own time and my own schedule, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay. Um. So in particular, actually, a lot of things have changed around here recently. I actually last week got rid yes. of my old leased BMW, which I, I had a leased BMW for five years, and what a bad decision that was. L- allow me to explain for those of you who are like, "What the hell?" Fill out a BMW. Why do you? Have uh, he actually had two of them. <laughs> a BMW when you know he said you know recently in months that financially things were tight and everything. Decisions like that are exactly why things are financially tough for him. Get it straight. That was for, for like a relic of a past era. It really- a relic of a past era. It's like the Ark of the Covenant, dude. A relic of a past era. It really was. That was like my old life uh-huh. of being a- That was a different lifetime. A YouTuber who was making a ridiculous amount of money and all of that. What ended up happening was- That was before I needed to beg you guys. Was- <clears throat> way back when, <clears throat> excuse me. No, oh, sorry about that. Double, way back double, when double. in 2012, okay, okay. 2012. I was driving a beat up, falling apart Pontiac Grand Am. That was my old car, and I had that car for a while. In fact, parents bought that one. If I remember correctly, I bought it. I bought it right after I had gotten out of college. Oh no, that's when he bought. So I bought it probably around 2000. His parents bought him his first car. This car he did buy legitimately five. And I drove it everywhere. I used to drive it to and from work. Um, I used to drive it to Street Fighter tournaments. I drove that car all the way down to like Virginia, Tennessee from Connecticut and back. Whoa. I drove it everywhere. And I drove it Whoa. to the ground and the car was falling apart. All right. Now, you got to put yourself in my perspective. Back okay. then, when I was 2012 YouTuber Dark Side Phil, I was still incredibly popular. You know what uh-huh. I mean? Like I was one of the big known gaming YouTubers when That's it came true. to... Covering every new release and everything. Streaming wasn't as popular or anything like that back then. Yeah. It was really more about YouTube as a focus. Now things have kind of flipped, but back then it was. It was more about, uh, you know, on-demand videos on YouTube and all of that. And I was one of the most prolific YouTubers. So, in (laughs) particular, 2012 was the best year financially for me ever. Uh, remember, this is the year. Couldn't pay Howard, though. <laughs> Fuck Howard, right? <laughs> Give me some more figures. And also a BMW lease. So keep in mind how much he's making it these days. He could have bought a BMW straight up. No problem. No problem. But instead, he leased it then at the height of his month of his income, which makes it even stupider. It was actually 2012 when I did all these kind of projects. If you remember, I went to different conventions and stuff that year. Mm, yeah, projects. Um, Project 7 launched that <laughs> year, and I financed of projects, all of that Project by 7. myself. Um, and also, uh, that year I went to E3, and I paid for the trip and everything going out there. Um, and that was actually the year I got out of debt. That year I paid off all of my outstanding debt from the, my past life, my student loans, my... Past life. How many lives are we on now? Credit cards. Everything got paid off that year uh-huh. because YouTube was so good for me. Um, but at the same time, uh oh, my car was falling apart, and I wanted a new car. Now, so it- why would you not buy a new car with your extremely high income? You paid off all your debt, which was thousands of dollars. You know what I'm saying? Like this is the perfect time to buy a car and have no payments. Never have a payment again, except for your mortgage. You could have done that. This is just one of the one of those stupid choices he's made. It just so happened that there was a BMW de- dealership. I'm not even kidding you. Not even a mile away from my house. I Justine Foyle looks good. Look at that. I Justine. I Justine is very free today. Back then. And I always, of course, I wanted a luxury car. I wanted to see what it was like to have a luxury car. Okay, now we're getting the reason. Now the truth comes out. He wanted to get that luxury, guys. I wanted to get that luxury feeling. I thought it was for the maintenance. Um, and at the time, I was making so much money doing YouTube. I- Dude. I said I should lease this car, and I purposely did a lease. In- oh, uh, let's hear let's hear him pig explain this because it better be good to explain how not buying it outright is better than leasing when you have so much money. Instead of buying the car, because I was nervous that if I bought the car and the YouTube money ran out or dried up, 
that I wouldn't be able to afford the payments anymore. And now what are you going to do because you're stuck with this car and it's big? You know, you don't have to do finance. You don't have to, right? That's a thing you can do. You save money and you can just buy it. And then there's no payments. That's the crazy part. It's really interesting how that works. But that is like, it doesn't even enter the mind that's an option for him ever. Like you don't have to do financing. Big loan and you can't pay it versus a lease is only a set amount of years. And therefore, if things changed with YouTube or whatever, I would be able to dump the lease and get a cheaper car. That was always my intention. So <clears throat> I actually. Yeah, but Instamat, that's not true, though. He could have bought. How much he was making, guys? Don't underestimate how much he's making here. We're talking 50K, 100K, uh, 50K, 75K a month, right? A month. He was, I think more than way than 20K at his height. More than that. Way more than that. At his height, right? We're talking the height. 20K, yeah, yeah. He was not normal. Yeah, Instamat, not normal at all. He had many options. He had so much income, he didn't know what to do with it all. That's why you see all the fucking, all the figures and stuff. I remember... And WB Champions. Well, that was not yet. But. I drove my Grand Am to the dealership and it was leaking oil and the window was broken and sunk into the fucking door and it was basically about to explode. And I ended up getting a BMW and leasing a BMW, all right? All right. And it was good. BMWs are great cars, all right? But <laughs> turns what out they're awesome. What ended up happening was what? around mid-2014, so we're talking about two years later, I wanted to move. I wanted to move from Connecticut to Washington. Now, I wasn't going to... Okay, now we're going to get the real story here. Drive the car across the country. Okay, and just want to show you guys. His thoughts at the time were... One thing I will not be getting is another BMW. I'd much rather f furnish the house nicely than pay for one. It was nice while it lasted. That is what he put on Twitter himself before we hear what he's about to say here, okay? Get ready. Um, or anything like that. So... I went to BMW and I said, I'm pretty much done with this car early. I'd like to, you know, turn it in. I'm done with this car early. I'd like to turn it in, sir. Excuse me, sir. I'm done with this car early. Not exactly how it works, my friend. But you could have just waited three months, right? Uh, you know, but what's the deal with that? And they were like, well, you can't. If you turn in your car early, you're still responsible for all of the payments on the lease because I still had at least six months left on the lease or... Oh, six months were left. Okay, six months left. You can turn it in early and we'll charge you like thousands of dollars in fees, which ends up being like half of the amount of what was left on the lease payments. Okay, well, that seems... I know that's bad. That's definitely bad. But isn't it better than getting into another lease that you know by this point is not a good idea? As you stated in this tweet on March 26, 2014? Seems like it's to me. Now, I already was paying a ridiculous amount of money to move across the country. In fact, I don't know if I've told anyone this yet. Go ahead. When I moved across the country, just the movers alone cost about, I'm not even exaggerating, about probably six to $7,000 okay. to move my shit across the country. Because um, I had a lot of shit. You know, a lot of the stuff in this house is from the East Coast, the old place. It was very expensive to move my shit across the country. So I didn't have another several thousand dollars to freaking drop on to end this lease early. So, well, <laughs> it all depends on how many credit cards you have left that aren't maxed out at this point. Uh, I decided, well, I didn't decide. I went to uh, BMW. Uh -huh. and, oh, they, they, and let me tell you, I found an awesome salesman there. Let me tell you. And I said, what, you know, how are we going to do this? <laughs> we got to do this. <laughs> Well, let me tell you what's going to happen here. You're going to get another lease with us, and then you're going to walk out, and I'm going to get a nice commission. That's what's going to happen. The only question is how long it takes you to get there. And I'm guessing with you, it won't take me very long. And they basically told me, well, here's the deal. <laughs> here's the deal. Um, we will do, we'll give you a break. Oh, yeah, let's give you a break. When a salesman says we'll give you a break, it's not a break at all. That's a life hack. If you take a new BMW... On a new lease, we will completely expunge any of the fees and expunge. things that you have on the car. <laughs> I hope... Oh, my God. Like, does he understand that's not a favor? Just do... <laughs> uh, I, yeah, that was here's the deal, not the bottom line. I do not ring the bell for here's the deal, even though it does mean the same thing. I said, okay. Sounds okay, sure. Sounds good to me. I love sponges. Good to me. 
So they signed me up for a new BMW uh-huh. that I was told at the time Uh-oh. was supposed to have the same features as the car that I was turning in. It was supposed to be the equivalent car for slightly, it costs slightly more a month to get this new BMW. Oh, yeah, they upsold him. They even upsold him. They even upsold him here. BMW. But I was going to be able to turn in the old car, get this new car, and they were going to ship this new car across the country from Connecticut to Washington and deliver it personally to me here at my new house. Yeah, fuck, Jasper. I only get upsold at BMW when getting a lease I didn't even want. Okay. Sounds great, right? (laughs) Sounds great, dude. Yeah. Sounds like a good deal. (laughs) <laughs> only the problems yeah. began when number one they couldn't deliver the car when they originally promised it ended up being delayed by two to three weeks uh-huh. then when they delivered the car they only gave me one set of keys and I'm like where's the other key and the guy delivering the car is like hell if I know they gave me this one set and this is yours see you later and he left and I'm like so if I ever lose this key I'm completely fucked yeah right. that's a problem you need to take care of because right? they only gave me one ever um, it's called call- calling them and not just quitting after calling one time and not getting an answer they didn't put the license plate on the front of the car. They were supposed to do that, and they did Some states don't need that. So they never drilled the holes to do it. And in the state of Washington, you're supposed to have a plate on the front oh, of your okay. car, and there they didn't go. know that. So I basically drove the car with no license plate on the front for three years when I was supposed to have it. Like, it's so easy. Like, he could have been out of this. Yeah, it would have cost him some money, but long term, if he just got out at least, paid half the remaining, which I know would be probably at, you know, 2000 or whatever... Maybe even more. I guess 2000 to get out of it. But why? Okay. There's so many ways out of this problem, right? The first one is just wait to, to move, right? If Most times when you're buying a house, they say, when can you move in? And you can, all right, three months. It, it's you not like- You chose oh, to God, break the law. Anime. Live, live with, the, with consequences. the consequences. But you could choose when to move in. Like, that's literally the question. Like, all right, I can't move until this month. But if you're buying a house, they're cool. As long as it's not an extremely hot buyer's market, a seller's market, like it sometimes is. But I don't think it was at this point. So, you know, hey, I want to buy this house. I can move in this month. And that's totally cool. As long as, you know, there's not a thousand people lining up. But man, come on. And then you could have paid the fee to get out of that lease and then buy a house in Washington, which would have been the normal move. But instead, he chose to get another, another, another lease. Double, double lease in a different country. And then they had to ship the car cross country. For that healing Seattle air, as Incog Frog knows now. Um, and they ripped me off with the car because Uh-oh. guess what? Uh-oh. It didn't have the equivalent features of the car that I had in Connecticut. So that seems like something you need to rectify instantly, right? You, they can't do that. You have to be a Karen in this case. This is a case when you do want to be a Karen, right? Not when the cherry juice is off a different video, right? In a different aisle. I saw ALT Turkey Tom made a new video talking about DSP, and I, I saw, I said video. But not when the DSP, not when the cherry juice is in the wrong aisle. That's when you're not a Karen. You are a Karen when you buy a very expensive thing, or excuse me, lease, and it doesn't give you what you expected. Um, it didn't have a heated steering wheel. It didn't have satellite <laughs> radio at all. No heating steering wheel. It's a deal breaker. Which blew me away because that was one of the features I loved about the old BMW. And, I was and Phil Meyer, great or point there too. Thanks for saying that. That's it. That was much smarter than what I said. You don't even have to move in. He still had paying a mortgage in Connecticut. Keep that in mind. He could have bought the house, not move there, bought the house, lived in Connecticut until the lease is gone, and that saves you two or three thousand dollars. That seems pretty much worth it to me. But man, ever didn't have it. So I contacted the guy in Connecticut. I called him. I emailed him, and I'm like, "Dude, what's going on? What happened with this car?" Dude, what's going he on? He completely blew me off. He never responded. He never. He basically just never contacted me for anything. I was supposed to get free maintenance on the car because it's a BMW. They never even contacted me to do the maintenance on the car. You have to call them for that, sir. It's called being an adult, right? I remember when I didn't get my old change when I had my first car and my dad yelled at me very loudly when like he started hearing my engine was sounding bad. He's like, did you change the oil? I was like, uh, but I was 16, you know, it's a little different when you're 34. So I never got my free maintenance on the car at all. They fucked me over basically. And they, mm-hmm. they, they shipped me, me this over. car and basically said, well, He's gone. He's across the country. There's nothing he can fucking do. So fuck him. And they completely ignored <laughs> me f- for three years. 
That's your problem. That is your problem. So I already had once once all that happened, I was like, I have no intention of ever going with these people again. Like I couldn't uh-huh. believe how badly I was treated just getting the shovel off, basically. Um because they didn't live up to their, no, the car they were supposed to give me, everything. They, they basically just blew me off like assholes. <laughs> so I had this BMW for three years. And as you guys know, things change. You know, my YouTube channels certainly have not been anywhere things near change, as popular dude. as they used to be. Uh-huh. Um, YouTube ad revenue plummeted. You know, a lot of things change. <clears throat> I'm still incredibly happy that I could do this as a job um, full time, but- which is awesome. But... It sucks that, you know, things change and you can't exactly do what you want to do all the time. Oh, and, that's, you know, man, that does suck. How many people can do whatever they want to do whenever they want to do it? I can't afford the BMW. It's just too fucking expensive. Way expensive. And the bottom line is, I don't use the hey. features that are in the thing anyway. Like, BMW has this, this stupid thing, okay? It's a satellite system they build into every car. You may not know this. Great timing. The credit card, fly, fill, fly. That's the super rare. 13 credit cards coming in hot right here. <laughs> If you've never driven a BMW before, <clears throat> it's roadside assistance. Ah. And so, if you break down, there's a button in your BMW you push, and it uses a satellite connection system to connect you to help. And you, it'll detect you through a GPS system, and they'll send help to you. Okay. okay. Now, when the fuck did I ever dr- drive this car anywhere where this was going to be something that I needed? You know what I mean? So, it seems like you don't need this nice of a car then, doesn't it? BMW just has these crazy superfluous features that I don't need. You decided to get a BMW twice. I mean, I really enjoyed the <laughs> the, the built-in GPS system that it has. <laughs> okay, with so the, what's on your, your basically your phone? Bottom line is you can get that hey. for free, okay? With my new car, I bought this little mount that I put on air vent. And I take my phone. Phil is figuring this out in 2017. 2017. He's figuring this out. And I put it in it. And I use this app called, uh, I think it's called the Waze app or something like that. And he uses <laughs> Google Maps to give you free GPS. Free GPS? Free GPS has been free GPS for what? 15 years? Like you used to have to pay for that. I remember that. But that's, we're talking a long time ago for that. 20 years, maybe? (laughs) It's free GPS, dudes. Big ups. It's a buyer's market for GPS. They're free. So I basically have right now in my new car what I was paying ridiculous amounts of money for in the BMW, and it's just as good. Yeah, great so, point. MapQuest is free you know, GPS all along. Kind of silly, right? Um, it that, was I, silly. The choices you made. Let's hear what you say here, though. Paid so much freaking money. Absolutely uh-huh. ridiculous. Um, so the BMW is gone, and I now have the, a new car that is way less expensive. Holy shit! To give you some perspective, I have reduced my monthly payments for a car. Okay, but how much? By between the car payment and the insurance, two hundred eighty dollars a month. Holy Whoa. shit! Like. Wow, and I, the car I have, <laughs> I think the car I have looks better than the BMW. The car I have doesn't... Well, now his new car is the best thing of all time. You have to hear how great his decision was here. Drive as good as the BMW. That uh-huh. was the thing. The BMW had amazing brakes and amazing acceleration. But I don't, <laughs> I'm not looking for a fucking crazy-ass driving car. I'm not going to be driving... <laughs> amazing acceleration, amazing brakes. Crazy performance on the highway and shit like that. I just need a car to get me around locally, and that's it. You get the, it? You finally got that? All right, now I'm happy with, uh-huh. and I'm happy that I downgraded, and you know what I mean? I'm worried about the tires. Are the tires secure? Are they easily thievable? That's what I want to ask you now, DSP. That's kind of the lifestyle changes I'm kind of making now. Ah, I'm <clears> being <throat> an adult now. So pretty good. Um, But okay, anyway, I got good. a funny story to tell you oh, in regards God. to the new car. I Here talked about go. this on Twitter, but I think telling you this story firsthand would be a lot more entertaining, okay? Uh, and then actually, we'll take a break because I'm over, over 30 minutes into this first segment, and then the second segment, we'll start talking about my summer gaming we plans don't talk and about gaming segments, schedule just talk, and you're all just that talking, stuff, dude. okay? Not segments. So, <laughs> so. <laughs> the other day, it was, a week, it was actually exactly one week ago, Nine, I took one. a full day off from streaming and from videos and everything to basically do stuff that I needed to get done. I had to bring the BMW and, and bring it to the dealership here and get rid of it. Um, I wanted to drive my new car around for a whole day to get a handle on the car and get used to driving it. Um, I had a lot of errands that I had to do. 
uh, in particular. Mm-hmm. Guy plans a day to get used to the car. Some shopping and stuff like that. The odds mm-hmm. and ends for the house and things that odds now that ends, I'm bips and bloops. single again. I'm like, you oh, smash. this needs to get done. This needs to get done. Odds and ends. So I had time to do it. Fixes. Um, now, my new car, I haven't done anything in regards to, like, loading music or whatever, you know, with it. I haven't burned a CD of music. <laughs> I don't have any Burning CDs in 2017? Burning CDs? Dude, I actually don't have music on my iPhone, which I know a lot of people are like, what the fuck? A lot of people are like, He's burning CDs in 2017? <laughs> what? I have tons of music that... Burning CDs in 2017? I mean, I guess, but I, when's the last... I haven't burned a CD in legit 20 years. I haven't seen a, a CD player in 20 years. Are they... <laughs> As soon as uh, iPhones became a thing, that's it. Put on their phones, they listen to it regularly. I don't have any of that. I have music, but it's all like on my PC. Okay, um, so I need to do that. I need to like make a CD or whatever and get it in the new car. So I have not twenty years. I, twenty years was a little bit of over exaggeration, but still, music when I drive. But I don't have that yet. <clears throat> so when I, when I was coming home uh-huh. on Thursday last week. I'm pulling into my driveway. It's going to be okay. funny, guys. Okay. And during the day, I was trying to figure out how do I sync my phone with the car and get it to work with the new car? Because oh, all the cars have this Bluetooth syncing now, that feature and all of that, right? And I did get the, the phone to sync with the car. Mm-hmm. And it was actually, I was testing that Waze app that I had mentioned. It was giving me like <laughs> turn-by-turn directions and it was verbally telling me through the speakers of the car <laughs> how to get you know, to somewhere. And I was like, okay, this is great. So this everything great, was synced dude. and everything with the phone, but I have no music in the phone and no music in the car. So I'm Do you think he in, doesn't know how to put music on his phone? Like, I bet that's the issue. To my garage, okay? And as I stop the car, all of a sudden, I hear this oh, I know this. Sound. I'm like, what is that? It was a building. And it sounds like an orchestra, almost like a symphony. <clears throat> and oh, it's God, building it's around me. It's YouTube. Like, YouTube music. Oh, it's getting louder. And I'm looking around like, uh-huh. what the hell's going on? What is, you know, what is happening? I have no idea what's going on around me. You know, what could be happening? I, I was completely uh-huh. flustered. I was nervous. And I was like, Flustered and then it got nervous. real loud. Like, like it was coming to a, pi- a fever pitch. Like fever there was a pitch. And then boom, an explosion of music and sound. You could hear guitars and drums playing. And I was like, what? Well, let's see that guitar. Again. Boom, an explosion of music and sound. You hear cars and drums playing. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? I swear to God, I thought it was like... That was a very interesting way to play guitar. You but... see the movie The Truman Show starring Jim Carrey? It's a movie where Jim Carrey supposedly is the ultimate reality TV uh, guy, yeah, where since yeah. he was a baby, his entire life was faked. Everything around him was staged, and everyone was an actor acting, but he wasn't in on it. He didn't know that. So, oh. he all of a sudden, the fourth wall Spoilers, started to break, and he would see little things that were going wrong on you the set. You explain the whole movie? Or, you know, thing, and he would, all of a sudden, he, know, he realized that he was in, like, a virtual world. It wasn't real. <laughs> it's not virtual. It was a virtual world? <laughs> Truman Show is about a virtual world. Did you know that? Fuck, that's awesome, dude. Virtual world. Um, and all of a sudden... I'm, I didn't know it was virtual. I missed that part of the movie, but it was virtual. I'm sitting here, and I hear this music start playing around me. I'm like, what the fuck? Is someone about to come out and prank me? You know what I mean? Like, what is going on? Yeah, that's the first thing I think of, too, when I hear music. Is someone coming out to prank me? And then, Am I getting punk, dude? Is that Aston Kutcher? All of a sudden, I hear... Then I start hearing lyrics, and it's fucking Bono. From you two singing, and I'm like, what? I love this. I was fully erect. What the fuck? So I look down. <laughs> I look down. I'm fully boned up. My uh, <laughs> aerated shorts are like a tent right now. Uh, you know, my screen in my new car, <laughs> and it basically says, oh, you two, some song or whatever. And I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, some and song it, or it, whatever. Fucking, it came to a realization. It's like some song or whatever the fuck. You know U2 is, right? Whatever, you know? You know what I'm saying? They got, like, songs. I mean, right? (laughs) Pretentious, you know what I'm saying? Like, songs. Uh, This stupid (laughs) phone, all right? The iPhone. This happened a couple years ago, if you're not aware. Everyone who owned an Apple device, automatically, without your permission, 
your Apple device downloaded a whole U2 album. I remember that. Automatically. I do remember for that. For free. Uh-huh. I guess it was some partnership U2 had with Apple where they wanted to give away their album for free to the, to Apple consumers or whatever. Uh, yeah, and I'm sure they didn't get any money for that. Yeah, they just wanted to give it away. This is another thing they did out of the kindness of their heart, <laughs> like the salesman did to get you in another lease for free. It had just auto-downloaded here, and I didn't even know that it was on the phone or oh where my it God, was. Yep. Mm-hmm. And apparently what had happened was my my new car was trying to sync fully with the phone, and it just so happened it did as I was pulling into my garage, and it auto-played the music, uh-huh. and it scared the living shit out of me. <laughs> we told that part. <laughs> I already played the not. I mean, for seriously, that, like so. I've been mind fucked certain times. That was like one of the biggest mind fuck moments of my life. Like, you've definitely been fucked before. Let me tell you that at, by BMW twice. All of a sudden, music is surrounding me and playing out of fucking nowhere, and I have no idea what's going on. I was like, "What the shit?" I was I was expecting like people to burst out of my my door, my garage, and be like, "Oh, surprise, Phil! This is your life and shit." I don't know. That was really weird. Do you, how many times you have to repeat the joke, brother? But anyway, Anyways. as of now, I've officially deleted the fucking shitty YouTube music. And by the way, there was also a Rod Stewart Christmas song on here. Hey, careful. What the fuck? Like, I've ever listened to Rod Stewart in my entire life. He's a right? national treasure. So I deleted the, <laughs> the fucking music, and uh, now I got to... How much would a Betty re-downloaded that song? You're like, you know, that's a pretty good song, dude. <laughs> work on... Get- I wish that I made all I made then <laughs> when I was younger. <laughs> he does that song. I wish that I had all the subs I had when I was on Twitch. That's a good song. Getting the music, you know, from my PC to the phone and all of that. Uh Uh-huh. All right. So that's it for the first segment of Hate Live. No second segment. 2017 still. It's out here that I'd never seen before. And I was like breathtaking. I was like, holy shit. Holy shit, dude. I was breathtaking. Are you ready to get breathtaking? Because I am. But the alternate route was incredibly scenic. I saw a go- Guess what? Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, old- the- Give me directions to this place. Hold on, we'll get there. There's one place yeah. that I've all- I've driven to a ton of times since I've- I've lived out here in Washington, all right? <laughs> oh, God, And I sorry. said, you know what I want to do? I want to try out with this Waze app. If I ask it to, to give me directions to this place, uh, compared to how I- how, you know, my- my old- car used to tell me how to get to this place right, i want to see you know how it works out so i did <laughs> um and guess what what the Waze app not only got me to the place quicker via an alternate route but the alternate route was incredibly scenic i saw a <laughs> gorgeous view of the mountains out here that i'd never seen before and i was like <laughs> breathtaking i was like holy shit <laughs> like not only is this a better i was breathtaking dude Holy shit, I was breathtaking. GPS, but it fucking shows me like awesome stuff I've never seen before. I was breathtaking. So, I strongly recommend, folks. What do you recommend? That BMW if leasing? If you are someone who drives around and or you're not familiar with areas you drive in or you just need a good free GPS. Use- oh, free GPS as opposed to the paid GPS in 2017. It's the Waze app. Oh, Waze it's app. It's really dude. fucking good, man. It's really like, fucking it was good. A- it actually worked better then the built-in GPS in my old fucking BMW oh. it actually gave me better directions and better ways to get places. Ooh, BMW taking some shade here. Get fucked, BMW. Okay. Okay. Breath. I was breathtaking, dude. So there Maybe. you go. Pretty Anything awesome. Like, you know pretty that, awesome. But going by, I think it was like $20, this mount that I bought for my phone, right? And by the way, my phone syncs with my new car. So the Waze app, if you have a car that syncs via Bluetooth, the Waze app will give you the audio directions, you know, turn-by-turn directions through your car speakers. Oh, my God. Which is how this works with my new car. Are you serious? So it was pretty damned awesome, me driving around. That's a premium feature, dude. I was telling me where to go, and I'm like, this is just like having the BMW. Why the fuck did I have that to begin with? Why was I paying out my ass almost $300 more a month for this car that I didn't really need it, right? You're making sure we know how stupid you were. That's for sure. Anything else to say about this amazing, amazingness? Waze okay. app? Okay, you done? Now, no, the Waze app is not my sponsor. You Some think idiot so? in the stream chat just said, Ugh, it's unethical to be promoting something without revealing you're not a sponsor. They're, they're not my sponsor. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah, I do my shilling for free. Get the fuck out I of here. I have zero sponsorships, folks. The only...
That's the that's the that's the stupid thing. Uh, actual like partnership that I have right now is with that one up box. Couple. That one up box, dude. Get your one up boxes. I don't shill. Because I, mean, I unbox their stuff once a month. That's it. I don't get any product placement promotions. The things I tell you here on pre-stream are honest just recommendations. I love that some idiot thinks that I'm getting paid by the way. Is that I'm I'm say, there's one transition there that fucks up every time. It's not me. Watch. Look right here. See that? There's a there's a there's a fuck up in his transition. On pre-stream are it honest came around twice now. Just recommendations. It's coming up here. There it was. I'm trying to catch it. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. See? It does that. For whatever reason. Anyways. Big up, Tony T. Where to submit cards again? I'm sorry, y'all. Well, easiest way is Discord, but you also can do Twitter or at the email. I love that some idiot below. thinks that In the description, I'm being paid by the Waze app to give you a recommendation for something I used, like, three days straight during my time off. What a, uh -huh. what a fucking mor moron. Yep. What Seriously. Why don't you get its third lease, dude? Anyway. Anyways. Whew. So there you go. Oh, That's kind that of the asshole. stuff that I did during my... Okay, don't care. Next. 2017 still Questions somehow. that they asked, all right? Here's a question. Ask so the first the question was, Phil, why don't you take public transportation like buses or tra oh, trains? Oh, you are... You better get a... You ready for a beat down right now, whoever asked this question. Public transportation? What's wrong with you? Washington. Is there a problem with them? I remember back when you wanted to get rid of your BMW... And when you and Leanna were sharing the car, you didn't consider those options. Oh, uh, um, you better get, what, you better be out your mind. You better be out your mind. Well, oh, yeah. public transportation is good in some ways and bad in others. It's good because it's not very expensive. You can easily, you know, get around town for a dollar or two sometimes. I, I, Phil has no clue how much, how much it costs. Yeah, dollar or two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Phil has no clue how much it costs. Um... And, you know, it's nice for, for people who don't have the option of driving a car, owning a car, uh -huh. uh, to get around. It's bad because it's inconsistent. It's not reliable all the time. How would you know, sir? Um, <clears throat> you know, you're reliant on someone else to do their job properly to get from place to place. Uh -huh. So I'll give you an example. All right. Oh, here's an example. When He's got to come up with the word, like one experience in his life where like he had a bad experience on public transportation. And that means it's always like that. Get ready. We first moved here in 2014. My ex-girlfriend did not have a driver's license, so she had yeah, to go she to was driving too young. school. She wasn't quite old enough for the driver's license yet, but we waited, and it was fine. Learn how to drive in order to get her driver's <laughs> license. <laughs> license. So, to go to driving school, she would try to take a bus because I was working, right? Now, there were a few times... Couldn't even drive his, drive his girlfriend to driving test. She had to take a fucking bus. Come on, man. You can drive her to a fucking school. Schedule to change the stream schedule. That's when I offered, I, I did drive her. Uh, but sometimes. for the most part, she says, fine, I'll just take the bus. It's not a big deal. Uh-huh. She, of course, come on, man. I'm not exaggerating. In a two-month period, three fucking times, the bus broke down, and I had to drive her to driving school because the bus kept breaking down or was late. There was one day, the bus never showed up, and then two other times, the bus broke where the doors wouldn't fucking close uh -huh. on the bus. Told and you. so she couldn't take the bus, and I had to go pick her up from the bus stop and drive her to driving school, all right? I'm sure that was a fun ride for, for Panda. I'm sure he wasn't bitching too much on that ride, was he? That's the consistency of public transportation, at least around here. I don't uh -huh. know back home, because in Connecticut, I never rode the bus or anything. But, you know, around here, it just doesn't seem to be consistent. And a lot of the times, they're late. That was the other problem, too. Like, when before she had her license, she would be using the bus to get back and forth to work. Um, and so half the time the bus would be late. So it ended up, she had to end up taking the bus way earlier mm -hmm. than when she was supposed to be at work in order to sit there and waste an hour or two because the buses just weren't consistent on time. Yeah. Um, so it's better to just lease. Just lease BMWs. It's way better, guys. Don't be poor. Just lease, lease BMWs. So there you go. Um, that's really one of the major issues. Now, for me... For me... To take buses all around, like, first of all, I don't go a lot of places, right? I mean, for me, where do I realistically go? Okay, so that seems like you'd be an ideal target for a bus rider then, huh? Um, grocery shopping? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Logan got it right. When she says that's fine, it isn't fine, you know? When you hear it's fine, you want to run away. Run away from whatever was being offered. I take there. a bus grocery shopping, how am I going to carry, you know, bags of heavy groceries on and off a bus? And so it's not like I'm going to get one 
one bag. I'm, you know, when I go grocery shopping, typically I restock the house on certain things and stuff, and I end up with a few bags at least. I'm not going to be going on a bus with tons of bags and shit like that. Um, <laughs> other places that, that I go, typically, you know, the other thing is the time that buses take. You have to wait for the bus to show up, get on the bus. The bus has several stops. Versus if you have a car, you just go straight there and back. Right? If I need to get something done, zoom, zoom, great. <laughs> zoom, Versus, zoom. oh, now I gotta sit around and wait. So there are, there's positives and negatives. Um, <clears throat> but, but, in particular, um, around here, like I said, sadly, just thinking of more excuses. You already said this excuse, sir. The buses just didn't seem very consistent. It was inter interesting because it, it was one of the things we wanted to test when we. This is interesting. Not quite funny, but this is supposed to be interesting. Moved out here. We were like, gee, I wonder if, you know, this will actually end up being, um, uh, something that we can do and consistently maybe a car won't be a big deal but no we quickly found out mm -hmm. that it was not a reliable thing and that we were going to have to rely on a car so you quickly found that out over the three months that panda was taking her driver's driver school that's what you figured that out there you go i forget how long this driver's school was but there you go and that was you're on very thin ice sir okay the second question that i chose from this person to answer he says okay, if um, you were to leave you youtube or twitch if you were offered a job with an annual salary between one hundred to two hundred thousand dollars, the condition for the job is that you can never, or you can, you can. He screwed it up. He spelled it wrong. Oh. The condition for the job is that you can never, is what he meant to say, record gaming videos again because you won't have the time. Um. Well, first of all, a salaried job with one hundred to two hundred thousand dollars would be amazing. That is. More than what okay, I make right yes. now. So that would be great. It would be an increase in pay oh, that's immediately. A good, that's a good theory there by Geese. G is reserved for people who feel likes, and O is for stupid people. I like that. I'll keep that in mind. G is you're stupid, but I like you. You just gave me money. And O is just for you are really, you have issues. You need to go to the white coats, take you away. Now, there's positives and negatives. My health care costs would probably go down. Shut the fuck up. I can't handle it. All right, next, we're going to 2017. Still 2017. Shout out to Chloe. Big ups. Chloe stands. Get ready. The tiniest penis in all of our cave. <laughs> now that. Of course, that gets that laugh. Of course. The penis in all of our cave. <laughs> <laughs> now that I got to laugh at. Because I, I, I'm sorry. I have to agree. I've always been the guy. I know everyone knows this about me because I talked about it over the years. I am not a car guy. Okay. All right. To me, I'm not. Christian C in the house. Was he earlier? How does he have three hours of BMW? Oh, there's always hours. We could always find it. Into, but oh, I need a nice looking hot rod understand? car that I could, you know, drive fast. Dude, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Into, oh, I need I am not a car guy. Okay. All right. To me, Listen very I'm not carefully. into, oh, I need a nice looking hot rod car. Come on, man. That I could, you know, drive fast or whatever. And I'm not into that at all. But there's guys who are, like, so into cars. They need to have, like, the nicest car. They put fucking bufflers and fucking crazy. Bufflers? What are bufflers? That's like a buff fluffer at a porn shoot. It's called a buffler. They're very hard to come by. They're very expensive. But bufflers are interesting. They're very expensive, but they're buff. And they get you, they get you boned up in no time at all. Bufflers. <laughs> There's guys who are like so into cars. They need to have like the nicest car. They put fucking bufflers and fucking <laughs> bufflers. Crazy ass rims and shit, fins What's on their David car. Doing? I've You're never been like that. Anyway. But but I always believe that guys who are into cars that hard, really, it is like they're trying to show off because they have some kind of overcompensation for something else in their. Sir, you got a BMW twice. Their life, seriously. Uh -huh. Framework says you had a BMW. Yes. Great point. Whoever said that. But I didn't. I didn't have a BMW. First of all, I didn't have the classy ass BMW. That I didn't have the classy ass BMW. What did you have? I had the bells and whistles and shit like that. But I got the BMW. Uh, I didn't have the bells and whistles. You made a video with the bells and whistles. I have the classy ass BMW that had the bells and whistles and shit like that. But I got the BMW. Quite honestly, because I wanted to have a car that had full service that yeah. would be done for me because my car before that was a money pit. It was a piece of shit that I constantly okay. had to keep bringing in for service. And I basically ended up paying for the car like three fucking times with the amount of maintenance I had to do to it. Yeah, you know why he did that. Uh, oh, you want an oil change, sir? Oh, that's 20 grand. Okay. I always get fucked by this stuff. I hate these car stuff, man. 20 grand, I'll pay it. That's why I got the BMW. What the fuck? That's why you got the no! BMW, right. It's not about because it was always a BMW or anything. 
It wasn't because it was a BMW or anything. We just heard him say he wanted to try out a luxury car. BMW. Does but it, it was not about because it was always oh, a BMW or anything. Oh, it wasn't <clears> like that. It wasn't like that. Ah, uh, anyway. yes. Ah, uh, yes. Guides. Look at this. All right, that's our first major retcon of the day. Just in this same year, he said, I wanted to see what a luxury car was like. Fire extinguisher? All right, anyways. I didn't like this game. The first one I really liked, but this one I did not. Hot take, central. Battlegrounds era here, boys. Get strapped in. Oh, Q, the days of me driving a BMW are long gone. I will never do that again. I will never be able to afford it, and I would never want to anyway. Ooh. It was nice when I had it, when I could afford it, because I was making ridiculous amounts of money. Those days are over. <laughs> so desperate. Let's watch what me get sure. <laughs> <laughs> Great. He's in a car. We gotta watch when he's in a car. It's like we have to do it. Oh. Is it gonna explode like GTA? Fuck. I wanted the explosion. <laughs> gotta run. Alright. Fuck this. There's plenty more, don't worry. Multi famous dude and not to a BMW. No multi-famous dude, and not to a BMW. I never bought a BMW. I leased it for a few years, which is not a, a very expensive. That's a, a, so again, it's semantics. I know I'm being semantics side fill here, but he leased two BMWs for five years. W. I never. Listen, he says singular, but it's not. No multi-famous dude, and not to a BMW. I never bought a BMW. I leased it for a few years, which is uh -huh. not a, a very expensive. You. It's not very expensive, guys. It's not very expensive. It is not very expensive. You, I never bought a BMW. I leased it for a few years, which is not a, a very expensive. You are not, stupid. He has said himself how expensive it was in this very same year. Snood, you obviously came in here late. When we start the restream, I'm not going to do that. He leased two BMWs. Two BMWs. And he said on his Twitter before he moved, before he moved, he said this. One thing we will not be doing is getting another BMW. I'd much rather furnish the house nicely than pay for one. He went, he, before he went, after this tweet, before he went to Seattle, he would lease another BMW. Okay? That's the truth of the matter. <laughs> Buying a BMW is incredibly expensive. Leasing it is not. Leasing a BMW is not expensive. Remember, he's saving $280 a month with his, with his uh, Corolla. He admitted he saved $280 a month. How much does that mean the BFW was? Conan the Barbarian just showed up. What's up, Conan? You sure you up, said, Conan? just joined the stream. How's your day been so far? My day was pretty good. Um, You know, my day went well. I woke up and... You don't have to start with you woke up. Uh, Got ready to stream and played Street Fighter. Street Fighter went incredibly well earlier. Okay, nothing. Okay, next. <laughs> Olivia Soros says, what was my favorite car I ever bought or leased? No lie, this is the truth. Here we go. The car like the most, even though I had a BMW, the car like the most, I had He a keeps saying I had a BMW. He had two BMWs. He is trying to retcon this into one. It is two. We've seen it today. Or at least, no lie, this is the truth. The car like the most, even though I had a BMW, the car like the most, I had a uh, Dodge Charger. I thought the car looked amazing. Like, I really Dodge liked the look Charger, of it. I don't know why. And it handled pretty decently, too. I'm sure the thing was a fucking gas guzzler, and I wouldn't want to own it. But I definitely enjoyed driving it for the one uh, trip that I had it. Because it was on a uh, uh, tournament. It was at the tournament or a convention. I got with John Rambo. And we got in this he Dodge Charger. Done. We both liked the car. We were like, damn, this car's like mad good. This uh, car's like mad good, dude. We made out in it. It was very hot. Um, I kept trying to make the, out with John in the Dodge Charger. We both boned up, but it never happened. It's like mad good. Um, mad good. That's a pretty late the, Mad Good, isn't it? That's a 2018 Mad Good. The BMW drove the best out of all the cars I've ever driven. The BMW? Which one? You had two. But it was way too expensive. Um, the car I own right now is really nice. It's only a, a, a low to mid-range mid car. But it pretty much drives almost the same as the fucking BMW. The only difference is it doesn't have as good of brakes. And it doesn't <laughs> have that stupid sunroof that I don't need. And it doesn't have a fucking stupid press this button to contact our GPS center so they could locate your car and have someone come out for roadside assistance. You know, dumb shit I'll never use. 
That's really what I was paying for with the BMW. Mm -hmm. Oh, and a built-in GPS. Oh, dumb shit I'll never use. That's really what I was paying for with the BMW. Oh, and a built-in GPS on the dashboard. Come to find out you don't even need it. There's I come to find out how many years was he paying for that GPS? That's the question. He was probably paying for that shit so long. Oh, no, don't do this. Not now. We cannot do this now. Not Cinnamon. Cinnamon's grabbed. He does not know what to do. Cinnamon has no way out here. Here he comes. No, not now. Not like this. Oh, God. God, he's broken in half. He was not getting up from that. Okay. After you get on your phone called Waze, that uh -huh. uses both Google Maps and, and live traffic information from other sources to make an app that's completely 100% accurate when it comes to driving directions better uh -huh. than actual GPS. So why the fuck did I pay for GPS to have BMW GPS for all those years? How many things has Phil paid for that he later learns or will say that he didn't, he doesn't, shouldn't have paid for it a long time? Like the forums are almost there, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm an idiot. Uh, yeah, so there you sure. go. We know that well, no, part. Definitely I think the, the, the most stylish uh, car I ever had that I really liked the most was the Dodge Charger. At least it for a bit. Dodge Charger. Big ups Dodge Charger. Okay, 2018 still. I've tried a million things. And I'm we might finish not too crazily long from now. Actually. Stuck in a fucking endless money pit over there. Oh, by the way, we're in the th we're in the th we're on this the section of the show where any sit means we go to the next video because we've already got the main storyline. Now we're just catching up on the retcons and stuff. So this is the sit means skip portion of the show. And now we got people saying I'm driving a BMW, which is completely false. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable, dude. Any anyway, let's continue. Beard. So, no. No. No, no extra information. Just people were saying I'm driving a BMW. Ridiculous. Like, that's such a crazy thought. Unbelievable. Any chance you want to say, like, yeah, I used to have one or anything? Nope. It's just unbelievable. Anyway, let's Anyways, continue. Let's continue. Beard Tendy. Resubscribe. <laughs> Beard Tendy. For the third month in a row. Thank you very much, Beard Tendy, for resubbing. Thank you, Beard Tendy. Thank you for that. Next. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> there's a contract to be signed. There's a picture of me signing a contract at a BMW shop. Well, number one, I don't have a BMW anymore. I got rid of it uh, over a year ago. And what, well, what number one, <laughs> question? There's a contract to be signed. There's a picture of me signing a contract at a BMW shop. There's a picture of me signing a contract at a BMW shop. Well, number one, I don't have a BMW anymore. I got rid of it. Uh, that means you still were there once over a year ago. And number two, uh, the car they're saying that I have is not a BMW, so. What? You did go there once, though, and you did sign contracts there twice, in fact. You signed two leases, sir. That means you were in the dealership twice at least, right? I don't know what this is about. Oh, he's, he looks, he's doing the nervous reading of the chat, though, so maybe he's kind of, like, hiding something just to make sure they don't share too much. Is, that, is he talking about this one, you think? Is that it? Because, I mean, that's, that's the only BMW one he could be talking about. But... I mean, he made it sound like that person was insane. So, I don't know. You tell me. Apparently, I said something during a pre-stream about it. I never mentioned any car, second car or whatever besides joking. Huh. What? They searched a, an insurance agency and found two cars registered at my location. Ah. There's no other car registered here. That this is the the arc of the okay this is a the different deal we're not getting into it but this is the uh, Phil was put on the name of Cat's car uh, when she moved in that's the Cat Subaru yeah yeah that's a whole different deal but Cat's Phil's name was on Cat's car for a time and people found that because you can search that shit publicly or whatever and that's what he's talking about people are trying to bring that up that's why he's incredibly nervous right now you can tell because they have they have tuned into real stuff right now. They are saying facts. So I don't know what the hell information they're getting. Yeah. And Phil pretends like no one can just read that stuff on the internet, but you can. State information from State Farm, a Subaru in my and Kat's name. That's completely false. That's not false. That is 100% the truth. There was that. That did happen. That's 100% false. It's 100% not false. Actually. Huh. He's nervous. He is just chat scanning right now. So they're basing it off of car insurance is what you're saying? Car insurance? Yep, that's how they're basing it. Let's see how he gets out of this one. Now he's going to kind of, he's going to call it back, right? He's got to come back from that. Like, oh, oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm on that. Insurance? 
that he knows. First of all, they do realize that car insurance has nothing to do with owning a car. Like, for example... Uh, here we go. Insurance doesn't mean ownership, assholes. Cat is on my insurance right now for my car, but she doesn't own the car or anything. She's okay, just like, irrelevant. You know, on the insurance to drive it. Irrelevant, <clears throat> sir. No one's talking about ownership. We're talking about insurance. Oh, the person asked about maybe you own a second car, right? Because the Subaru car. You know, oh, look at him. He is in hell right now. He knows they're on to it now. Judicious Echoes. Okay, here we go. Here we Judicious go. Judicious Echo says, if, he cheered, by the way. Thank you for the cheer. Thank you for the cheer. He says, Thanks. if you go to State Farm and some insurance companies, and you look up Cat's name and my address, there's two cars registered plus your leased BMWs. Yes. Well, first of all, I haven't had the... the first of all, that's hilarious. The old... Oh, let's see if it's funny. Leased BMW from Connecticut, uh, I haven't had since 2014. Hey, Not, never came to Washington State, so how the hell is it associated with this address? I have no idea. Um, the old BMW, that would make sense, except I tra that was gone over a year ago. So that's obviously outdated information. Uh, oh, you're telling me they keep history of, of previous cars you've had insurance with? What the fuck? Huh? They keep that information? Huh? Um, right now, there's a current car in my name. If there, There's no car currently in Kat's name. So if there's any information about that, that's got to be, like, massively outdated. Ah, so, uh, yes. What you found is true, but it's massively outdated. He hasn't had a car in her name in a million years. Ah, it yeah. sounds to me like it, it, there must be like really outdated information. Uh, right? Oh, out! Oh, yeah, it's very outdated. It, so outdated, it some call it current. <laughs> it's only it's like massively outdated information. Uh, oh, massively! But I don't. So. I just, I mean, real talk. I don't own two cars. I can't afford that. I real talk. Okay, let, let's one get car. Back. That's it. And Cat drives it to go to work, and uh, you know, I drive it around when we go out together and stuff. Uh -huh. but, real talk. You know, that's it. So that's anything it. else that they're finding is completely out there. Like that's you would think there would be a dead giveaway if it says that there's two BMWs here. Uh huh. Let's just keep, keep saying random shit that has nothing to do with what people are saying. Of course, I don't have two BMWs in my current car. How stupid is uh, that, right? Yeah, yeah. But yeah that's yeah, what I mean. Yeah. These these are dumb kids. Uh huh. Dumb so kids. So apparently they found some massively outdated public information. How many times can you say massively on the internet, right? Uh huh. And they take it as like current fact. <laughs> anything, anything else? Anything else you're finding in chat? Uh, it's in the pinned chat. Uh, if pinned comment only asks Barkley, six hundred by seven eighty seven. Is there anything else? Well, thank you for telling me that, guys. Yeah, thanks for telling me. Absolutely. Thanks for telling me. I did not know that. Thank you for that. Hurtbox TV says I have a car on my record. I haven't owned in four years. It still shows up on my credit history and insurance. Yeah, it's almost like I, that I wonder if BMW still fucking shows up on my credit history. It might. I don't know. Uh -huh. It absolutely might. It shouldn't, but it yeah. might. <laughs> it's almost like they keep records of that kind of stuff, you know? It's crazy. I haven't dude. looked at my credit report in a million years either. Nothing there. No need, brother. This is after bankruptcy, so. It could be that BMW did a terrible job and doesn't doesn't close off lease information. <laughs> right. BMW did a terrible job keeping records. Right? And Cat has no car right now. So yeah, it sounds that, to me like but, if the, but the Subaru, for some reason, you were on that insurance when obviously maybe she was driving it or whatever. There is a story there, but that's a deep done. Well, that's a deep fucking door. A car in her name and you're still showing? Uh -huh. That sounds to me like, again, it's outdated information. The company didn't close it off properly. Mm -hmm. Fucking BMW didn't close it off properly. Whatever close it off means. What do you expect? They start just erasing it? They use whiteout? This vehicle. I heard a vehicle fucking stop. Where is it? Is, maybe the vehicle has your insurance on it like cats. Get him. We'll get him one of these times. One of those bullets had to hit, right? You'd think. <laughs> yeah, so Excalibur, that is the question. Uh, and I, that will take a deeper dive. But yeah, her, his name was on the Subaru's insurance, okay? Which is strange. Um, that will take some pre-research to see how, 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 why that might... Because this is one of those things that Phil doesn't talk about at all. So it's purely agricultural website style research that has to be done for that kind of that kind of a deep dive because phil never talks about it outside of probably what we just saw why am i fighting this guy you tell me you're the one playing the game brother huh? <laughs> yes yes get it please finish it off 
That oh. was fucking bizarre. Oh? That was Little. bizarre. Because I was trying to get into the car, and somehow <laughs> I got shot as I was entering the car. And I couldn't tell. I thought I would like died. But I was in the car, getting shot in the face, and I couldn't tell. You that could... was weird. How could you not tell what was going on? That was really weird. What? You knew someone was there, they saw you get in the car, and they started shooting the car. Holy I thought shit. I was dead? Right, let's fast forward to get the let's get the payoff, because it can't last much longer. There we go. Drink this the energy drink, energy that'll drink. help. That'll oh, help come it. On. I'm trying to drink an energy drink, you fucking asshole. Chug the Red Bull real quick. <laughs> All right, next. Okay. Shout out to Android, who cheered. And he says, I'm considering a BMW X5. Ooh. I know you got rid of your BMW. Do you recommend the brand for your experience with it? Do you think it's worth the big money? First of all, I know nothing about the X5. I think the X5 is a high-end BMW. I had, no I had the lowest-end BMW possible, the cheapest uh, one. Notice how now it's the lowest-end of low-end. Oh, God, it was basically a junker car, my BMW. I never owned it. I leased it. Uh-huh. Okay. Reason uh, and you had two of them. We keep forgetting that, that aspect of it, but you had two of them. Can you please be more specific about which one you're talking about? I leased it. Two reasons. Number one, because at the time, I was making a lot of money when I first started leasing it. This was uh -huh. way back when in the, the big days of my, my YouTube popularity. 2012, okay, so I, could afford 12, it. I believe. And number two, because the, the car I'd had before that was a piece of crap lemon. I had bought this car... And over the course of, like, the eight years I owned it, I probably paid for the car three to four times in repairs. Mm -hmm. I mean, every possible fucking thing that went wrong. The brakes, the oil line, the, the, the fucking trans... Well, remember, that might be true, PC Cooling Gel. Based on the sensor console he showed, it did look like the entry-level model. But his first one was not. Remember, the second one didn't have all the features he was promised. So I don't, I don't know, but... Mission. You know. There was, a, I think, a crack in the fucking engine block. Like, this car was a money pit piece of fucking shit. Uh -huh. And it was constantly in the shop. So I wanted to, once I had the money to afford it, get a uh, car it. that I knew was going to be reliable. And in particular, BMW is one of the more reliable car uh, car manufacturers. <laughs> if they have any problems with the car while you're leasing it, it's free maintenance, completely free. Uh -huh. At any time, if, oh, the car screwed up, you're bringing it to them, they'll, do, they'll give you a loaner car for free and they fix your car for free. So if you're looking for a car... <clears throat> that number one is going to be very reliable. And number two, you get free maintenance and you always have a loaner and everything. You don't ever have to pay for that shit. Then a BMW is the way to go. However, mm -hmm. however, however, here's the here's I'm just going to forewarn you here, Android. Uh -oh. BMW is expensive because of its name. There's a lot of things in a BMW that you think are like great features that, in my opinion, I never used. Like they have this thing. It's their own system. You know the OnStar system? This is the system by which if you're broken He's down... He's still on this fucking SOS button thing. Somewhere it's a vac. you can use a satellite connection to call someone oh, man. and say, oh, I'm stuck here. Can you use the GPS to find me and have someone come out and, you know, tow my ass or whatever? Uh, BMW has... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sound clippers, get ready for the tow my ass. Ready? The GPS to find me and have someone come out and, you know, tow my ass or whatever. Okay, there we go. Uh, BMW has their own version of that built into all of their cars in the... Three, let me see about this. I think it was about four and a half because I got the car in 2012 and I got rid of it in 2017. No, no, no. So that was a second car, sir. You keep skipping this point. You had a two-year lease on the first one. Then before you left for Washington, you ended that lease early. To get out of the fees, you started a whole nother lease that it keeps leaving out here somehow that there's two BMWs in play here. Always there is two. Never forget the second Latina and also the second BMW. So, in the five years that I drove a BMW, not once did I ever use this feature, nor did I ever find any any reason to have it. It's completely worthless, worthless especially if you have a cell phone and you could just call someone yourself. Why the fuck do you need this service? It's completely pointless, right? Um, the one major benefit I liked about the BMW is that it had a built-in GPS in the dashboard. <laughs> so, it had a giant, like, heads-up display-style screen. Okay. Heads up display style screen. Okay. That <laughs> had built in map and GPS and everything in the car itself. Oh. So perfect example. When I first moved out here to Washington, I didn't know anything about the area. And for about like the first year, I was constantly just using the built in GPS to find ways and find places to go around and investigate. <laughs> he said the wording there was funny. Find ways when he should have been using ways all along. The state so I could learn all about it. But the thing is, you could do the same thing on your phone. 
Like, there's many Holy apps. Like, right shit. now, Wait I use what's called the Waze app. W-A-Y-Z. Waze. It does exactly the same thing. The catch is you need to use your phone, so you need to mount your phone somehow so you can see the directions Hang and stuff while you're driving. You but if serious? you can do that, there's no reason for that built-in GPS either. Uh, now, my BMW had bells and whistles, like a heated wheel and heated seats. I oh, excuse me, sir. You said you were very angry when you didn't get those features in your second BMW. Now they're not that cool? Either. Uh, now, my BMW had bells and whistles, like uh -huh. a heated wheel and heated seats. I never used it for myself at ah. all, okay? So, in general, what I found is that even though, yes, the BMW was very, very reliable, and it had full service if anything ever went wrong with it, nothing ever went wrong with it, and I just ended up paying a ridiculous amount of money for a car that I barely used any of the features of. Okay? Well, I thought you said last year, in 2017, it wasn't very expensive. What happened? Oh, sorry about and that. And so, last year... In particular, I said, I got to get rid of this thing. And I finally was out of the lease. I said, thank God I can get rid of this fucking car. I got rid of it. And now I have a car that I'm literally paying half as much a month as I used to for the BMW. The car has almost all the same features. Almost all the I'm same features. I'm not even kidding you. The car I drive now almost ha, ha, has ha, ha, all ha, the ha, same ha. features as the BMW. The one main feature that I noticed is worse in my current car, the brakes. The brakes are not as good. The brakes in a BMW are outstanding. outstanding you can stop brakes. on a dime if you need to, Okay. Brakes in my current car, not so good in, in that comparison. There's just like hindsight, my brakes are 50-50 on the new cars. So good, they're just not as good as the BMW. Uh, but do you really want to pay double just to have good brakes? See double, I mean? double brakes. So double all depends. Brakes. If you can afford a BMW and you think you're going to use a lot of these crazy luxury features, go for it. But for me, the reason I really got it is because, number one, I was making crazy money at the time. And number two, because I had just gotten out of having a lemon car that was a piece of shit, and I just wanted something that I could rely on and not have to worry about constantly having it in the shop uh, or whatever. Okay, and the yes. BMW was definitely the way to go there. Mm. But there's no way I would ever get another one. In my entire rest of my life, even, even if I were filthy rich, I struck the lotto, I would not go out and buy a BMW. I wouldn't. I would rather have a car that I'm not overspending <laughs> for no reason and not taking advantage of any yeah. of the features. So uh -huh. that's just my opinion. It was nice when I had it, but... Definitely not anything that I need, and I probably would never get another one again. Okay. Okay? I thought you just said not in a million years would I get another one again, and then he says, uh, I probably wouldn't get another one. <laughs> just changes very quickly there. All right, next. Okay. What the Schmeck cheered again? He says, speaking of Christmas, can you tell us what you got, Cat, for Christmas? Nope. Alexander Ross, he cheered. He says, are you at least... Oh, don't, need, don't need to say anything when you don't get her anything. That's the easy part of it, right? You go BMW, uh, Christmas. Nope. Yep. Alexander Ross, he cheered. Because it's December 21st, so you probably even even bought anything yet. Sound good? Are you leasing a BMW? Uh, I haven't had a BMW in almost two years. Okay. And quite frankly, the last two years that I had that, I didn't even want it. It was way too expensive. And for what I was getting out of it, it was not worth the money. Okay, but... Okay. To, to make a long story short, short guys, long time ago. Long we're time talking, ago. Holy crap now. That would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven years ago. Oh. Like, back in the day when I was rolling in dough, that one year that I made big YouTube money when I was actually popular. One year. On YouTube. Uh-huh, that one um, year, guys. That my, one year. My current car at the time was a Pontiac Grand Dam that I had had for some nine years and was literally falling apart at the seams. It was leaking oil. The windows were caving in. The thing was a piece of garbage. Piece of garbage. And dude. I needed a new car. And that car had been a lemon. I bought it as a used car. <laughs> How many times did we say lemon? And it constantly had problems over and over and over. Uh-huh. And at the time, I wanted to lease instead of buy because I wanted a car that would have um, some kind of agreement where if service or anything went wrong and something needed to happen, they would do it for free uh -huh. rather than me pay for the, the cost of the car five times over like I did with that Grand Dam. Mm -hmm. um, and so I thought this story was supposed to be short. We're getting the whole fucking thing again. Oh, at the time, making so much money like I was, oh, I yeah. said, why not lease a BMW? This would be something nice. There was a BMW dealership right near my house at the time. That was one of the, the, the very few this, frivolous oh, things I spent money on. The other thing would have been the stupid statues that I bought. Oh. That I, <laughs> stupid statues the, the are now stupid. The very few frivolous things I spent money on. The other thing would have been the stupid statues I that I bought. That I now 100% wish I never spent a dollar on them because they were a complete waste uh -huh. of time and money. Very but much. at the time, I was younger, and I didn't oh really know God, that much about end, you know what was going to happen in the future. And I was stupid, and I spent too much money. Just being very honest here, okay? Uh -huh. Um... So, I, I leased a BMW for two and a half years. Yep. Then when I moved across the country from Connecticut to Washington... Here we go. I got 
tricked because that's exactly what it was. Uh oh, we got tricked, boys. We got roped again. Here, at least he's gonna talk about the second BMW here. I hope across the country from Connecticut to Washington, I got tricked because uh -huh. that's exactly what it was. I got we got roped and tricked, tricked into extending a lease for a newer model of BMW. Ah. I should a newer model of BMW. Just so we're clear for anyone that's just coming in late, that's his second BMW. Couldn't have done it. I should have said, I'm not doing it. And, you know, even if I need to trade the car in and pay a bunch of fees because I had to trade it in earlier or whatever, I should have done it. Yes, you should have. said, cut the cord, get a much cheaper car. Cut the cord. But well, I was stupid and I got I got basically tricked into another. Elmer's glue with Jenna on screen. Big ups. Three year uh, lease. Oh, three with years. Yeah. Second lease was three years. First was two years. BMW that I ended up couldn't afford. And it was it was really bad. Like it was drawing my finances. And then finally last year, the lease expired. And I got rid of that thing. I said thank God because I never really used like he acts like that's an active thing. You know, uh, I got rid of that thing. You know what? I said I'm taking control, and I got rid of that. No, you just mean the lease you signed ran out. It's not like you did some awesome finance move here. <laughs> you know, it's like the lease ran out. <laughs> Any of the features in it that are the reasons why you pay so much for a BMW. And I was just so happy. I know. Three-year lease has to be the worst. Finally get rid of it. I really was. Um, you could just it, add two years and it's, you can buy it, you know? Get a car loan for that much. So, no, I don't have a BMW anymore. I haven't in almost two years. I don't ever want to have another one again. It's too freaking expensive, even though it was a nice car. Um, that's certainly not something that's going to be within the realms of reality for my budget ever again. Uh -huh. So, there you go. Charge Blade. Let's hear the next one. Give me $5.01. And says? Let's see what he says here. Um, Hello? It's basically a very negative message here. And <laughs> I don't really like the fact that this person is having negative... Con basically, in a nutshell, this okay. person is trying to insinuate that I never want anyone in the stream chat to talk about negative stuff. Like, if negative stuff happens, I tell people to stop. Yeah. And I shut it down. Good point. And... If people don't talk about what's going on on the game or on stream constantly that I get angry, that's not yes. the case at all. In fact, nine uh, times out of ten, I just let it go. There's very few exceptions. All right, boring. 2019. Paul to me a dollar and still thinks I have the BMW. A car I got rid of over two years ago. People are just stupid. I'm sorry. You guys listen to the wrong people. What? Oh, my God. Blackout. All right, whatever. I swear you guys listen to the wrong people. If you think I'm still driving a BMW, you are stupid. Like, it's so ridiculous that he might have... Like, it's like... He, I, BMW? I haven't even heard of BMW. What is it? You you lease two of them. Mission area is hot. Weapons free. <laughs> Burgers in the house. I am the best. Says, guy who claims he's had a lemon is the same type of guy that at, doesn't get an oil change for two years. Maybe he's the lemon. Oh, yeah, that's the truth. He is the lemon. You know what I mean? He, no, dude. BMW never called him for maintenance, dude. Um, not his fault. By the way, you idiots who think that a BMW is a sports car, you are morons. Uh-oh. <laughs> a BMW is not a sports car, especially not the model that I had. You guys are ah. idiots. Not the model I had, you idiot. Boy, you, that is the most stupid thing I think I've ever heard in my life. Is it, though? Every person who just said that in stream chat, you should be ashamed of yourself and just see how immature and stupid you are. Yeah, if, yeah. Write me a full letter apology explaining how stupid you are. I think that a regular low-grade, low-model end BMW is a fucking sports car. Oh, now you it's are a low-end grade model. So dumb. <laughs> so wow, dumb. Wow, you are dude. stupid. Wow. But what I'm saying is I didn't run out and buy a sports car. Is what I, you know, I'm not driving a fucking Ferrari. You know what I mean? Uh, just, you got the BMW, though. Someone who was making the money that I made for one or two years there might have ran out and did some really dumb shit. And like lease a BMW and buy 18,000 figurines? Luckily, I didn't do that. You know? Ah, luckily you didn't do that, though. Okay, okay. I just want to make sure. But again, yeah, I made decisions based off of what I was making at the time. You know, the money that I spent... And the debt, all right, that I incurred here when I here we go uh, moved out here. Here we go <laughs> across the country. <laughs> you know, was pretty significant, and it was based off the fact that I was assuming I was going to make a certain income level. No, 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 no. That's not how it works. So you, you, 
got that much debt because you assumed you were going to keep making that much, you don't have to go in debt. You know, that's the kind of thing you don't have to. Sometimes you do. But if you're making insane money, then you probably don't have to, right? That I just don't make anymore. Uh. Um, and, you know, it sucks. There's no way that I could have predicted that. And, you know, it's just life that it happens. But It's this life um, that happens. No, no, it's life if you choose to spend like that. No, if I, let's say, for example, somehow I were to find a way to pay off all my debts right now. Uh-huh. Go clean slate. There's no fucking way that I would make crazy, risky financial decisions. You know what I mean? Like, like what? Having a rainy day fund? I would be incredibly conservative. And the bottom line is also, hey. I love where I live. I, you know, I'm married. I have a beautiful life with my wife. We love this area. We're not... We yeah, have, we don't, that's why we don't spend any time in the area at all. That's how much we love no it. No intentions of moving. We have no intentions of doing anything expensive at all. We don't have any intention of doing anything at all, actually. We just want to basically be where we are and not have these horrible debts ruining our lives. You know what I mean? I know. Don't say, don't bring her into your debt situation, by the way. And number two, uh, you chose to get in all this stuff, man. It's no one else's fault. Like, that would be amazing. It would be like peace of mind. Not having peace no of mind and peace of peace. Worry about a debt collector calling every day or... You know, can't afford the new game for the stream. Oh, my God, the freaking Internet's going to cut out because we couldn't pay it. You know what I mean? Like, that's really what the situation we're getting to. And it's <laughs> you not chose to broke the, the law. <laughs> Live with, with the, the consequences. consequences. Thank you. That was on a point. good feeling. Uh -huh. And, you know, that's what we want to avoid. That's all we're looking to do. We would never go, you know. All, just to reiterate, what we're looking to do is get rid of $500,000 in debt. That's all we're looking to do, guys. That's all we're looking to do. Come on. That's all we're looking to do. <laughs> it's that simple. That's all we're looking to that do. That well forever. And now I know, no matter how good things are going, don't count on them going that well forever. Because they're just, you know, that's life. Life will find a way to come bite you in the ass. Is exactly what happened with me. Things were going so exactly amazingly me, well. I was like, there's no way they could possibly get, get bad, you know. And then they did, you know. <laughs> it's, oh. it's, it's, it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> you think? That's life. You learn. You live and you learn. So I would say uh, if I were to somehow magically find a way to get a clean slate, which realistically is never going to happen without uh, winning the lotto or some crazy-ass, really generous benefactor coming out of nowhere and saying, <laughs> I want to help you, Phil. Here you go. He wants a, he wants how much donation for that? Hundreds of thousands of dollars from Benefactor? Um No, I don't He's asking for the biggest donation for a streamer in the history of streaming. That's what I don't he think wants. I would ever, ever get into a, a, a bad situation like this ever again. Uh -huh. Because I've learned from my mistakes. Ah, I've learned. I've learned. I've learned. Next. Help the most. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. My main man to me another dollar says, but Howard said you bought a BMW with Patreon money. You're one to talk. What on earth does that even mean? I got a BMW before I even had a Patreon. I want you to think about that. He means the second one, maybe. <laughs> maybe he's talking about the second BMW? I opened up BMW? my Patreon in 2015, all right, when I already was here living in Connecticut, excuse me, living in Washington, um, and I already had the BMW Way before that, I got it years before that when I was making tons of money on YouTube. I opened the Patreon when the YouTube money dipped. Uh -huh. Um, how could I have bought a BMW with Patreon money? You can't. And that's what I mean. This is this the insanity of what some people say. So insane, dude. This is this dude's insane. This dude's basically the Joker with this question about me. This the 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 the, the, the rank stupidity. Oh, the rank. And I hate to say stupidity. it. Howard's one of them who drinks the fucking Kool Aid. I guess. Oh, um, Howard, drinking the Kool-Aid, sipping the Kool-Aid, Howard. Um, how could you even believe that? How could you believe it, that? Just factually, reading the timeline, it doesn't even make any fucking sense. How did I get a BMW with Patreon money when I didn't open a Patreon until 2015? Uh -huh. And I had the BMW since, what, 2012? You'd have to be a fucking brainless moron to believe it. Oops. I... <laughs> what can you say, right? I don't know. How dumb can you be? Uh-huh. How dumb can you be? Two more kings is the same for wings, really? See? I'm not listening to wings. Jordan Burnell, my name's not Richard. Do you regret not renewing the lease on your salvage title V6 BMW? Yes. No, I don't actually. If you're talking, obviously this is a, a, a wings meme, but no, I don't. 
I'll be honest, I don't regret at all not having a BMW. Like, I had it for a few years <laughs> when I could afford it back when I was making money to afford it. I had it for a few years, five years. For the BMW, I leased one. Uh-huh. And quite frankly, my car that I have now is just as good. Like, it's way less expensive. I wasn't using the features on the BMW that I was paying extra mm-hmm. for anyway. Like, Hello? there's stupid roadside assistance where if you get... If oh, you that was a sip. I should be skipping, but I button, want to hear this. And you can call BMW, you know, service, and they send someone out to save you or whatever. Where the hell was I driving that I needed that? You no signed way. up it was a for it. Waste. I never used it. So I'm very happy with, with my vehicle that I have now, which is There's about, so many features I didn't even want, dude. You know, way less expensive. Um, and I do feel that it was it was nice to at least experience that while I had it, so I know what a BMW is. But I'm never gonna go back to that ever again in my whole life. It's a complete waste of money. So thank you for Rossi for the resub. <laughs> Thanks, Rossi. Someone named I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay tipped me a dollar. He says, <laughs> I shit my pants every day. <laughs> I think someone was trying to troll. <laughs> he tipped me a dollar. He says, I shit my pants. And I'm again. gay, I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay tipped me a dollar. He says, I shit my pants every day. <laughs> I think someone was trying to troll, but because they don't understand English, they forgot a letter. No, you still but said anyway, it, you dumb fuck. Tip. Ladies and gentlemen, no that troll was so successful, massively successful. I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. Uh, this troll doesn't get it because they don't understand English. You just said it 18. I'm gay four times. I think that's kind of the point. Um, but you know, just a silly joke. Obviously, here from PW Dubs, one of the silliest things that people say is that I, you know, oh my god, did you know Phil has two cars? Yeah, man, he's still <laughs> he's got a, he's still got a BMW. I've had a BMW. In three years, and when I had a BMW, I leased it, and I got rid of it as soon as I could. You had two BMWs, though. You keep leaving that part out. I was actually re- s- stuck with a stupid car I didn't want for almost three years. Be- because you signed a lease that you got talked into? Because of a whole- I'm not going to get into that. It's just so stupid and annoying. That Don't I- worry. We went through it enough today. That, that happened to me, but it is what it is. Stupid and annoying. You signed the contract, sir. Um, You know. It's <laughs> so silly. There's things people say. Yep, so anyway, so thank silly. you for the, for the tip. Uh, PW Dubs. Dixon Butts, what a name! <laughs> Give me a dollar. Says, why do you keep bringing up your tax guy and paying him? It's not like he's totally ripping you off. You just use turbo. Shout outs to R. Dixon Butts. <laughs> I think that'd be spelled like this. Dixon Butts, big ups. All right, finally we're on camera. Any, we have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight videos left. I have to be done before I have to pick up kids. So. Just ask me. Do you th- oh, Ipsilfin it was. He said, would you? Do you want a sports car in real life if you could get one, or do you think it's just an unneeded luxury? I have driven a BMW, and I've driven a, a piece of crap car. I've driven a middle of the middle of the line car. You've driven, I've driven a driven second all kinds BMW of cars, SUVs. In general, the only thing you get out of a luxury car that's better than a regular car is safety features. You make it like slightly better brakes, slightly more. Uh, Brakes are safety when you features. Hit the gas, maybe it, it takes, or it moves a little bit faster. Stuff like that. Are those like safety BMW features. Had a stupid thing. You press a button and it satellite calls to someone in the center. He's like, "Oh, I broke it down. I need help." Right? Stupid shit that most people don't need. And I paid so much money during the time that I had the lease BMW because of nothing. Like it was no benefit to me. It was just having it and saying, "Oh, I have a BMW." Now my car has none of that. Oh, I- see, he said it. It was because listen to that. Remember the in the the life is strange. Party said it was because he didn't care about those BMW. Listen to what he just said right there. Benefit to me. It was just having it and saying, oh, I have a BMW. It was just having it. it was, oh, I have a BMW. It was just having it. Oh, I have a BMW. Remember? He said it wasn't about having a BMW during that Life is Strange playthrough, but now it's now he's fully admitting the truth. It was because he wanted to say he had a BMW. Now my car has none of that, and I love my current car. And it's about half as expensive as a BMW was, you know? So Ooh, half as expensive. That means the BMW is six hundred dollars a month for the lease. In reality, if we are to believe, I would that. not want a sports car. I would not want a luxury car ever again in my life. I would always just want get a mid range car. If you want a few of the amenities that the mid range car can get you, fine. How about but features? don't go crazy with crazy expensive cars. They're totally not worth it. They're such uh, a rip off. Uh, what about lease? Insurance is way more expensive. Tomahawk uh, MCX gifted us up the light sign, Hank, and then another one to Irish Killer seventy nine. Congratulations. No care. Next. Do I have a dream car? No, I do not. I really don't care about, um, I really don't care about cars in general. I don't care about what kind of a car I drive as long as it works and it's comfortable. That's okay. always how I've been. I've never been a car guy. I've never been into having a fancy car. 
Uh... I did lease a BMW a couple of times. Why? Because it was dependable. It was ah. super duper dependable. I, I didn't care about the BMW part. I guess we didn't care about the BMW part again. I had an issue with the BMW at all. Um, and I had full service coverage leasing the BMW. If anything did go wrong, I could go right to the dealership that was right a few blocks away from me and get it fixed. That's why I did that. I wasn't driving it because it was prestigious because it was a BMW. I was driving it because... Dude, you are retconning something less than a year ago. I'm opening it back up. All right, so someone just asked me. Listen to I this. This is, okay, 2020, June 7th. Shit, I muted it. In general, the features, you make it like slash, maybe it, it takes a button and it people don't need. And I paid so much money during the time that I had the least BMW because of nothing. Like, it was no benefit to me. It was just having it and saying, oh, I have a BMW. It was just having it saying I have a BMW. That was June 7th, 2021. Let's go to October 5th, 2020. What? Oh, excuse me. I'm out of order here. Oh, no. June 7th, 2020. And this is October 2020. Here we go. That's why I did that. I could go right to the dealership that was right a few blocks away from me and get it fixed. That's why I did that. I wasn't driving it because it was prestigious because it was a BMW. I was driving uh, it because it was uh, a dependable car with free maintenance. Uh, I did it. Okay. So. Sound good? By the way, I don't drive a BMW anymore and have it for a long time and probably never will again in my life. You leased two of them. I'm not sure if that's a flex. Now they are. There was a major update to this. April 7, 2021. And so now, yes, you can. <laughs> Dennis Block and Phil, but I don't care. I just steam. All right, people so are wagering right today. now. Come on. Dead air. The, the video is not paused right here. I promise you. This is hilarious. I still get emails. I swear to God. Uh oh. From BMW of Bridgeport. You know that car that I got in like 2012 that cost me way too much money and ended up causing me a bunch of problems. So he still gets emails from the people he could that ghosted him, occurring to him. He still gets emails from the people that he couldn't contact about those missing features and the second key. Later on. Uh, yeah. Okay. I still fucking. I still, they still send me emails. They just sent me an email. Happy birthday. Okay. Idiots. <laughs> so. Okay. Don't we... seem like they're doing a very efficient job of ghosting, are they? Be ready. People will wager. Can I do right, this? We're done. Next. One, two, three, four, five videos left. Let's go. Now they are. There was a major update to this. S huh? And so sure now, yes, it. you can. Okay, never mind. We just saw that one. Next. Four videos left. No. Um, they basically felt like they should have been paid for their work. They felt that I was, I was making... Oh, listen how he says that first line. They thought they should have been paid for their work. What assholes, am I right? They basically felt like they should have been paid for their work. They uh -huh. felt that I was I was making all the benefits from the show. Uh-huh. And they were getting nothing out of it. True. In true. reality, there were no benefits of the show at all. I spent Except more for the hundreds of thousands of views that video made for you. Money on that show than the show ever made. Uh-huh. I bought all the all the props. I had bought two replica guns. The the Gears of War gun that's in episode two. Oh, excuse me, episode three. It was hundreds and hundreds of dollars. No one asked and you to buy And I actually bought that. a giant replica uh, uh, assault rifle from <laughs> Mass Effect that we were going to use in, a, in a, like a sci-fi RPG. Didn't even use it. episode. I never even used it, and that thing was like $700. Okay, $700 you chose to waste yourself. Like, I bought a bunch of shit to, for the show. Like, I think all in all, when I totaled it up, between the outfits, the props... And everything that I bought for that show, it ended up being like two thousand dollars. That show didn't make two thousand dollars. Okay. I think you said <laughs> the show BMW made like somewhere. maybe at that. most when you uh, when you add in all the ad revenue I made on it, maybe a thousand. Oh, it's right on here. All the episodes. Think... So we're talking all the promos oh, coming, that I ran for it, the four main episodes and everything, the trailers. So I lost money on the show, but these guys are of the impression that like I'm making tons of money and shit. I, if I, specifically if what I remember, Howard said in the video about Project 7, he was yep. like, um, here we are making the show and making no money on it, and then Phil drives up in a BMW, right? It's like, dude, the money that I paid for the lease of that BMW was from my game channel. The gameplay ads had nothing to do with Project 7. Project 7 was a money loser for me. What I was hoping was that over time, I would invest... Mm -hmm. Like, they aren't connected at all. Oh. Uh, you know? 
I would invest a bunch of stuff into a show that hopefully would pay off in the long run. Mm -hmm. You see, I wanted to diversify my content so that I wasn't only just doing gameplay so that, that didn't last if anything long, ever happened with gameplay, I'd have something else to fall back on. I was hoping that the show would become popular. We'd do episodes, we'd do seasons, we'd sell DVDs, we'd do all kinds of crap with a show like that, right? So it was an investment for me to grow. It mm -hmm. wasn't a show to make profit, a quick buck on on ad revenue or whatever. I think what it is is that people very grossly overestimated how much I was making right, on ad right, revenue. Right, right, right. Because just if you just look at the episodes and the views they got <clears throat> and understand how ad revenue worked on YouTube, you would know that I didn't make that much on it. And based on what so I So Phil is acting like if you work for a company, they only have to pay you if it's profit. Okay? So like, you know, if you if you work for let's say we're making a movie, right? We're making a movie and I don't have to pay you unless it makes a profit. So sound good? Sweet. I'll get all the biggest actors to work for me and I don't have to pay them unless we make a profit. Cool. Awesome. Spent on the show, it was like I said, I lost money on that show in a big way. Probably about a thousand bucks. Um a thousand. So, you lost, oh, he lost a thousand dollars, and he spent seven hundred on a gun he didn't even use. Sound good? Oh, if anything, what I learned is that you got to have a lot of good communication with people when you're doing something. We're not doing this. A collaboration. Not communication. Shut up. Was uh -oh. my BMW attention seeking? No. The only reason I got a BMW is because it was a a dealership that was very close to me. Hey, Al, did you know that YouTubers terrorizer and Tithe, that one, are now enjoys of the field detractor. No, I never heard of them. That's cool. Uh, when I lived in Connecticut, it was literally like 10 minutes, not even 10 minutes away from my house. It was the closest car dealership to my place, and I wanted a car that was reliable, and they were going to give me full service. And BMW offered full service for their leased cars. That's the only <laughs> reason I leased a BMW. If it the only reason I leased a BMW is because they're the closest car dealership to his house. It was Audi, if it was another company there i probably would have leased a different car as long as they offered full service i didn't give two shits about the car being, wow. tr being truthful i don't give a i didn't give a fuck wow <laughs> i wasn't getting it wow. a luxury car and it was a famous brand that i was driving around to show off i didn't care i didn't care at all <clears throat> i won't play it again but we heard what he said about that i was driving around a bmw that's what it was about was his exact words two more videos well Oh, over to Ponte. What's going on, sir? He just sent me two dollars thirty cents. He says, and I'm excited. Uh, in level up perks, you choose whatever dented BMW, which was black. Then I got rid of. It. Never owned a white boys. Car. I had a black Grand Am. Uh, when I was much younger, in the 2000s, then I got rid of that in the early 2010s, and I got that first leased BMW, which was black. First then I traded BMW. that in for another leased BMW, which was black. Now I got rid of that car, and then in 2017, I got my current car, which is a a nice, unique blue. It's kind of like a fun metallic color that changes color. It's a fun metallic blue. In the sun. Oh, I never seen a car like that, and I really like the paint job on it. Mm-hmm. Awesome paint. And that's a Toyota. So. Mm-hmm. Last video. Meet at the strip club. Oh, 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 oh! Screenshot. Screenshot. <laughs> Oh no, that's a white gentleman. I thought it might be an urban style gentleman, but it's not. He's just chewing because the threat of them around here. All right. One of the things that I had in the BMW uh -oh. that I liked, it had a built-in GPS that was oh in the Oh my dash. God, dude. It was really nice. A big L L LCD a screen bitch. or LED screen that, worked, that served as your oh, GPS. And I was like, uh -huh. oh, that was really nice because it had color really nice and everything. Dude. It was a really good service. But then I, when I got rid of it, I was like, man, what's going to happen? Because, you know, what if I don't know how to get around? Mm -hmm. So I started using this program called Waze in my cell phone. And all I did is I bought, like, a cheap $30 dashboard mount for the phone. And now whenever I drive, I just turn on Waze, pump, plug that into my stereo in my pump. Toyota. What is it? Why don't we hear the sound effect again real quick? And now whenever I drive, I just turn on Waze, pump, plug that in. <laughs> Put on Waze, pump. In my stereo in my Toyota. For the phone. And now whenever I drive, I just turn on Waze, pump, plug that into my stereo in my Toyota. <laughs> And oh. it talks to me and tells me where to go. It talks to me. It, it talks to me, dude. This app talks to me. With the same GPS that I had in the BMW. It's exactly the same quality. This app so, talks to me, dude. It's crazy. No loss whatsoever. Like, all the features I was paying for in the BMW, I didn't need except the brakes. I do except like the, the brakes. brakes. And I'm a little sad. Brakes. I'll probably never have a car with brakes that good ever again. But yep. outside of that, I didn't give a shit about anything in that car. It was a complete waste of time. 
All right. Derek, you're welcome. He's thanking me for the anniversary plate. Big ups, Derek. That's our last question from Derek. All right, guys. That is it. That is the epic tale of not one BMW, but two BMW. And uh, remember, the second one he was roped into. That's the key point that I didn't. I learned today was the second lease was he was roped into it to try to save a few buckaroos. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, my goal was to make a short iceberg entry. This was not short at all. Uh, so next time I'll try to find something shorter that we can get because uh, Thursday is going to be a long episode because Thursday, my friends, is going to be the Sikorsky episode of the employment series. I hope you are ready for that. Who knows how long we're going to be doing that one. Should be very hyped though. Sikorsky in the house on Thursday. And then of course, that being said, it's Thursday as well. So it's a hype Thursday coming your way. Let me get to the Q&A though real quick. I do not want to forget it. So what kind of insurance or protection did DSP get on his second BMW was the question. And you guys said some good ones. So we have FGC protection from Jay Wusau, copyright claim protection. Uh, we have drive impact protection. <laughs> We oh fuck I'm off oh, my fuck I canceled it out now I lost them fucking all god damn it well I know they were all funny you're all legends don't hate me for that fucking idiot <laughs> god damn it I said dismiss because it was blocking my reading and then it fucking went so pissed low trip stream protection yes if you have any funny ones it's particularly funny just write them again I definitely will read them let's get to our iceberg real quick before we close out for the day I'm an asshole. Uh, but let's get to our BMW. And I believe this one is going to go, because this is kind of like, it's a dual style one, right? I think right, first rank, second rank, third rank. I think we're going right here. Next to I, Justine seems good to me. Okay. That's what it seems like to me. But what's your thoughts, guys? We're, it's a team effort here. I need your input. Okay. I need your input. What do you think? I think right there. One, two, or th two. We have John Doe says two. Daglo says two. Swimeco says two. All right, well, that's enough. I see enough. I think it's right here. I I'll go with this. I agree. There's enough twos going in chat. You guys are legends. All right, thanks, everybody, for hanging out. Thanks for the meaningful contributions. Meaningful time was had by all. We'll see you again on Thursday for the Sikorsky episode of the Employment Series. It should be a doozy. And then that being said, it'll be Thursday as well. You're all fucking legends. Don't ever forget it. It was a very meaningful time for me, and I hope it was for you too. See you later, guys.